ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! jealous of all <laughs> there's so many new people who have never seen that intro before you got you guys just got to experience it for the first time Woo! it's gonna be a good one ladies and gentlemen welcome everybody to thirsty thursday let's go thank you guys so much for being here we have official jawa in the chat i think that's amanda i would assume that's amanda i have no idea actually thank you guys very much for the level one hype train you guys are already going off rwc Joining us in the Fitty Bitty Committee. I have a feeling the Fitty Bitty Committee Lounge could certainly be a little jam-packed tonight. So I apologize in advance. Mark also with the double Fitty Bitty. He says, choo-choo, mother effa. Let's go. Super Luigi with the Twitch Prime sub. Come back for 10 months in a row. Says, after some... Hold on, we're about to get, we're about to get serious here. After some consideration... I'll keep my sub. That's not bad. I mean, after 10 months, if you're still debating. Okay. I mean, we might, you might as well go for the full year. Get the full color ZTT badge there. We got Dylan gaming with the tier one resub. Come back for four months in a row for five total. Thank you very much, Dylan. Much appreciated. We have, uh, I don't know, like about a million new followers. You guys are crazy. Thank you very much, Jawa crew for sending your people over here. Painful with the faded bitty says, sus. Sus? What's sus? Pantera with the fitty bitties coming in early with the yippee. Thank you very much, man. Painful also with the double fitty bitties. Says, oh, a train. Stangu with the Twitch Prime sub. Come back for 16 months in a row. Says, let's go. Thank you guys very much. Uh, oh, wow. I missed some. Uh, Mark with the fitty bitties as well. Says, fitty bitty committee. And painful with another. Painful's like a hundred. Painful's like a thousand bitties deep already. With the hundred bitties. Says, hype as a double. FBC. We got Bud Gates with the tier. Oh, tier one sub. First time ever. Thank you very much, Bud Gates. Welcome to the exclusives. Guys, if you don't already know how we roll here, if anybody gets gifted a sub, if you want to throw a sub, maybe maybe your, uh, your Twitch Prime sub this way, please, whatever you do, make sure you link that Twitch account or your YouTube member account with the Discord account. That way you get full access in our exclamation point Discord server. It is definitely the place to be. It if you got, I, I've seen a lot of people in the chat talk about how the PC sold quickly, and like I'm, I'm, I'm sitting over here, like I'm on my high horse, like dude, we just sold out. We sold seven PCs today in three and a half hours. Uh, you guys went crazy on that, but there's a lot of people that are upset about it because they couldn't grab a PC. The cheat code is being in the exclusives every single launch, which is the first of every month. I password protect the website, guys. Only the exclusives have the first 30 minutes uh, of uninterrupted website access. Uh, and if you're if you're truly trying to snipe a PC, that's the way to do it. But yeah, if you guys get a gifted sub or anything, definitely take advantage and link those accounts. But today is not about the ZTP website. It's about Jawa. And it's about the Jawa giveaways. Okay, so if you guys have no idea what's going on, 
we are celebrating the first year anniversary of Jawa, which I think it already passed like a good bit ago, like I think like two to three weeks ago or so. Re regardless, we're about a year into Jawa. Shout out to Amanda. Huge congrats to um, like there's so many people that are like saying like, oh, Jawa first year or like I'm a I'm a founding Jawa or all, all these things like talking about the website itself. But it's like, dude, Amanda created this business out of thin air, the founder, the CEO. Um, it, it's a it's a, a huge celebration for her as well, uh, not just the website. So congrats to her on that. That is big time. And the way we're going to celebrate is we're not getting her anything. We're going to build a PC and give it to one of you guys, uh, which is which is pretty cool. I'm a founding Java. Let's go, says the big Zep. So I I I, I got to toot my own horn just real quickly, and then we can move on. The entire Jawa Founders Program. <clears throat> Dude, that was your boy. That was your boy right here. Like, I, I honestly don't think I've ever been more proud about a decision, you know, a, a concept, an idea than that one. Like, I, I love that founding Jawa badge next to people's name. We have like, I think it's like 130 people that have it. And like in the Discord server, you get the custom role and everything. And it may seem, it may seem a little, 139, it may seem a little crowded in the Jawa Discord server with all the gold, all that founding Jawa badges, but it's a long-term play. Like a year from now, five years from now, you, I mean, hopefully you see a lot of those people, but it's going to be extremely rare, especially with the trajectory of Jawa right now. So I'm super excited to for people to be repping that Jawa badge or that Jawa founder badge like a few years from now when it's ultra rare. So that's going to be really cool. That was your boy's idea. I, I, and credit to Amanda on that one because her and I were supposed to have a meeting. We have a meeting every week at 1.30 p.m. She was a little late, you know? She didn't hop into that meeting until 1.38, but from 1.30 to 1.38, I just sat there like staring at myself through the webcam. I tested the audio about 15 different times, but then the idea came to be. So being late sometimes has its perks. So that, that's how that came to be. Amanda celebration and she's giving stuff away. What a legend, true legend for sure. Yeah, eight minutes late like that. <laughs> Know about you guys but i don't think i've ever been eight minutes late to anything in my entire life but it's okay it's okay now we do need to take a break real quickly because i just realized that i don't have a bottle opener what the f do i really not it's got to be somewhere i don't think i have a bottle opener i need to start drinking some beer if you guys are new here we drink beer while we build these pcs uh here on thirsty thursday but you guys can participate i don't care if you're drinking a beer i don't care if you have a, a cocktail like dr zoomer's been talking about with like 17 different ingredients or if you're just hydrating up with some water maybe you got some orange juice maybe maybe you're going crazy tonight and you got yourself a chocolate milk head on over to the ztt discord specifically in the general chat and post a super aesthetic photo of what you're sipping on. I don't want to see anything inappropriate. I don't want to see any uh, stock photos. I need the best of the best aesthetic AF photos. I'm going to go get a, um, what's it called? Uh, a bottle opener. I'll be right back. POV, you're a Jawa Discord mod slash founding Jawa slash verified seller. That's an exclusive club right there. That's what's up. I see G Tech is in the house. We are going to be having, we have uh, some quick little words from Danny from Nerd on a Budget. Hopefully they stop by as well as Oz from Oz Talks Hardware. They have like some little video submissions talking about Jawa. We're going to be doing not just the giveaway for to st the the giveaway build but we're also going to be giving away some jawa merch i'm gonna throw a little gift card in there and we have some jawa founder specific gifts which i still to this exact moment have no idea how i'm going to be giving away amanda amanda told me yeah if there's jawa founders in the chat give one of them one of these items i'm like how I, I, 
we're just going to run the giveaway with all founders. I don't care if you're here or not, because I don't know how else to do it. Uh, but yeah, we got a couple giveaways. We'll, we'll, we'll sprinkle those throughout the rest of the rest of the night. And we're going to get started on this PC build in not a long amount of time like we usually do. So if you guys are brand new here, let's hear in the chat real quickly. I need to know how many new people we have. Type in the chat how many Thirsty Thursday episodes you've seen live. How many live have you seen? We're gonna get a ton of zeros, I think. But I, I, I wanna make some, we need some confirmation on that. Do you have to be in the US or can you be in the UK? Uh, I'm just going to assume that this, these are gonna be US gifts, uh, giveaways only. No, I, I, I won't say that. The Steam gift card, I'll give to anybody. I'll, I'll give, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a, a little Steam gift card uh, giveaway tonight. I'll, I'll, I'll make that everybody, that way it's, yeah, but you at least have a chance. But per usual, with giveaways, please don't be upset if you don't win, guys. You have to understand. Your chances of winning the giveaway are extremely, extremely low. Just like any other giveaway, we're giving away a $1,500 PC. Thousands of people entered in this. I saw some people, like, saying, like, oh, dude, I'm winning this one. This is it. Like, I'm going to be super pissed if I don't win. Please just, like, let, let's calm your expectations. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me if you don't win. But we are going to just do a, a random number generator once the PC is complete. And that's how we're going to do it. Uh, here I be, here I be 911 with the Twitch Prime sub. First one ever month. Congrats, man. Thank you very much for the support. Painful with the 10 bitties says, check your last message. Uh, percentage with the tier one resub. Come back for four months in a row. Says W. That's a big W. Sean over with the 50 bitties says, peep the diamond badge and the 2424 streak. Who is that? Where? Pantera with the Fitted Bitty says, you lost my bottle opener. It, I promise the ZTT bottle opener is within arm's reach of me. I just can't find it. I, I, I'm 100% sure it's somewhere around here. It doesn't leave this spot. I just can't find it right now. So I'm sorry. No, I did not lose it. Painful with the 10 Bitty says, missed the sub. Also hydrate and a shout out. Oh my goodness. Painful with the, oh, Painful gifting out a tier one sub, becoming our first gifted god of the night. Giving out a tier one sub to Java official. I like it. That It's 100% pay to win, by the way. Whoever can give the most subs to Jawa Official is going to win this, just so you guys know. Uh, True Potato with the Fitty Bitties, rocking the Fitty Bitty Committee tag tonight. Thank you very much. Akira also with the Fitty Bitties says, let's go. Thank you very much, Akira, per usual. We got fine. Wow, I missed all these. What, what, was I, what was I doing? What was I doing seven to eight minutes ago? Was I just rambling? What was I doing? I, I, I lost it. Uh I don't know what happened. Seven to eight minutes ago, I think I blacked out. I, I'm, I, I'm very confused on all of that. But thank you guys very much for the support. Vinyl with the 200 biddies and no message. That's perfectly fine tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, we got, oh, I, I, I got that one. I got that one. Uh, our Jeremy with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. PVD, PVFD. What in the world does PVFD stand for? Uh, but regardless, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Again, please make sure you link your Twitch accounts with your Discord accounts. That way you guys get exclusive access to um, the exclusive sections of our Discord server. But yeah, I hope I win, man. I want a PC so badly. So who here, who here legitimately thinks they're gonna win the the end prize of the gaming PC? Who thinks that you, who thinks that they actually have a shot at this? I wanna know, I wanna know. Are most people like, you know, maybe it's a tiny bit optimistic you know you you understand that like you're most likely not gonna win does anybody like actually think that they're gonna win <sighs> you were excited about jawa stuff eight minutes ago well yeah that's gonna be the whole stream <laughs> i'm gonna win i don't have a shot i have the shot <laughs> i like it i like it <laughs> just all over the place nice. painful with the temper he says now two hydrates and a shout out who's the shout out i'll hydrate who's the shout out i don't see a shout out man I might miss them thing. Oh, Darth Gamer with the shout out nine minutes ago. Nine minutes ago. Again, blacked out. It says, give this Jawa seller some love. We're, we're going to be talking about McCarley. Is that how you say it? McCarley? We're going to be talking about McCarley uh, later on in the stream. They make a bunch of... Here you go. They make a bunch of custom keycaps and everything. And two of the things we're going to be giving away 
are this golden nuggy keycap we're only obviously going to be giving away to a founders i'm not sure how they're like ensuring that they're only selling to founders maybe they're just doing that manually but uh we also have oh skelzor with the 100 biddies in the drink dude i'm, I'm drinking blacks uh, and also, we're going to be giving away some of these pins right here for the Jawa founder. But they make all sorts of really cool custom keycaps and whatnot. So, shout out to... I, I mess this pronunciation every time. Maharley. Oh, Maharley caps. Maharley caps. Got it. Yeah. All right. We good? This is a lot of messages, man. My brain's a little overloaded. Dom66 with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Welcome to the exclusives. Painful this time, but oh, nope, I already read that one. We're good. We're good. All right, so what I'm sipping on before we review those drink photos, please go post an aesthetic photo in the general chat real quickly. And once we do that, we're going to build the PC, I promise. I don't want to waste. I know there's a lot of new Jawa people over here. I don't want to waste um, your guys' time too much. I'm going to waste it a little bit, let's be honest. Usually, we don't have the CPU installed into the motherboard until around the 45 to 50 minute mark. I'm trying to get that at the 30 minute mark and we're already at 22. So very soon here, but this is what I'm sipping on. It's officially pumpkin season. If you guys did not get the memo, September 1st, Jawa one year anniversary, and it's time for some pumpkin beer and some pumpkin spice lattes at your local Starbucks. This is called the Punkin Punkin ale it is a seven percent beer which is a and it's a brown ale brewed with pumpkin and spices and it's it's hitting the mark it's hitting the mark alex welcome to the twitch streams fix the link when what's wrong with the link the link's fine if you type in exclamation point build that that'll take you to the the full parts list so as far as the giveaway pc goes that giveaway is already closed. That, that's been promoted for the whole last month. Uh, and there, there were a couple requirements to enter into that and whatnot. But if you're a slacker, maybe you're just now learning about Jawa, which is, I haven't said it yet, an online marketplace for uh, custom gaming PC builds, PC hardware, Great. consoles, and a couple other type of things. Or danger, dude, I'm, I'm in the middle of something important here. Thank you for the 100 biddies. Much appreciated. Um... If you missed it, then we are going to be doing some smaller giveaways throughout the night tonight, such as Jawa merch, the Maharley keycaps and, and stuff like that. And I'm going to be doing a Steam gift card giveaway. Hello, Zach. Have you tested the i5-9400? Yes, I think. I've used the 9400 before. My birthday's in 21 days. Maybe we should just give it to you then. Does that sound good? We'll just give it directly to you? That should be good. That's, that sounds fair. That sounds fair. All right, where are these drink photos at? We gotta we gotta get building here. Here we go. All right, this is in the exclamation point Discord server in the general chat. Jonathan talks hardware. He's got our first submit. That's not a drink photo. I mean that's close, but that's not a drink. Like I see a Coke glass, but I don't want to see food. I want to see some drinks. Valhalla says excuse the cape. I can't excuse those cape. Well, that it's not too bad. Like, if you could angle the PC a little bit differently, it would be okay. But uh, Valhalla is sipping on a sun-kissed orange zero sugar. Wow, interesting combo there. Dr. Zoomer's got his grapefruit grapefruit Moscow mule. He said, like, there's, like, 13 different ingredients in there. He's also not watching the stream. It looks like he's drafting a fantasy football league, and he's got NBC Sports up and running. I don't even see an extra tab for the ZTT stream, so who knows if he's actually tuned in or not. Commenter's got some G. Oh, that's a fancy G, G Fuel. Some sour chug rug. A little late for an energy drink, but okay. We got Angry Apple says, I'm sorry, you're all losers in comparison. Okay, I can't. Oh, what are they pouring? What in the world is that? What? What is this? You're eating cereal? Or drinking cereal? Okay, that's a first. It's not super aesthetic, but that's a first. Okay, I'll take it. Soul Rule has some tea, it looks like. JoJo is sipping on a zero sugar watermelon monster. You love to see it. I actually just bought like a 12 pack of those. Mark's got his, of course, his mod on duty custom one of five, one of six ZTT mod uh, coffee mugs looking good. Immortal has a super aesthetic PC sitting behind his Coca Cola in 
the glass bottle. That's a very aesthetic shot. Nice work there. We got Fanta on the water gang. Spring water. Okay. We 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 had a huge discussion about this. We can all I think we can all agree that spring water is the best. However, if you have like a serious water preference, we have some issues. RWC with the orange Gatorade. You love to see the hydration. Soup sipping on, not soup, but just some milk I filled up. A little too much. That's not bad. That's not bad. Shauner says sipping on some tea. Also rocking the ZTT mod on duty mug. We got Mag with a cold brew in an Avengers mug. Very nice. You got to do some custom cable combs on your PC. It'll look so much better if you can combine these two 8-pin power connectors going to your GPU. That'll look really good. I would hi highly recommend doing that. All right, what other drink photos we got here? Uh, and we also have Lanak sipping on some water, aka some hydration. You love to see it. Painful has his Starbucks coffee. I don't know why he's not sipping in the ZTT Mod on Duty mug. And then finally, Hardware is going to seal the deal and destroy all of you in the aesthetic contest. Sipping on some, maybe some Jack Daniels, I don't know. But that is honestly one of the most aesthetic photos I've ever seen on Thirsty Thursday, per usual. Zeph, wow. Not one, not two, but three Coca-Colas stacked up. Oh, well, nice streaming setup behind you. That looks nice. And Billy Bob Joe with the Crush Strawberry. That is a lot of drinking tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ready. I, I got to pee, though. I got to pee after watching all that. That's not bad. Water is numero uno. Are you giving away a graphics card? I game without one, and I need one. We got an audience today. Zeph, your poor kidneys. It's my birthday in six days. And I'm planning a new PC build. Let us know what you're planning. Maybe we can help. Painful with the Tempity says, oh, my basketball shot and posture check. Do we care about these tonight or should I refund? Um, I'm going to make a basketball shot. I'm going to make one real quickly. Let, let's, run a, let's run a quick poll. Do, do, do it short, like 30 seconds to one minute because we got to get this moving. But we're going to make a basketball shot real quickly. So if you guys don't know, we have a custom court here at the ZTT studio. And we have this basketball shot, which is specifically measured at 30 feet distance. So it looks a little weird on camera, the angles and the, the zoom and all that. It, it's really, really far away. So just trust me on that. There's a little bit of editing, post-processing, all sorts of things. It's not an easy shot. And if you've never seen this before, that custom one-of-one one ZTT basketball hoop is not the same. It, it did not come with this and one basketball this and one basketball was purchased separately by painful and it barely fits in the hoop like the ratio of ball to net size is not is it's no bueno so what i'm trying to say is this is like the most difficult shot that you've ever seen in the history of twitch so get your channel points out now i do promise that i'm gonna make it so if you want to double up on the channel points i would highly recommend uh, voting yes, and if you vote no, then you might as well ban yourself and get out. But all right, here we go. Sixteen thousand channel points on yes already. Or wait, was that on no? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, it was on no. It's obnoxious. Don't feel confident. We shoot a shot now. We're shooting right now. We're shooting right now. As soon as this prediction's up, shot is going in tonight. Says King. Why is everyone's birthday in like three days? Is that is that what people say before giveaways? It's been a minute since we've run giveaways. Is that what everyone says? Got 2K on yes, says Shauner. All right, I think we're, I think we're done. Where's my prediction prediction at? All right, 53% of you said I'm gonna miss it. That's actually pretty even. With the biggest offen offender being Stangu, of course, with the 10,000 channel points. Then I'm gonna miss it. Okay, I see you. We got 10,000 channel points on King though, saying I'm gonna make it. Wow, that's a lot of channel points. 24,000 on missing it. 21,000 on draining it. There's nothing left to do but to do it. That's a lot of channel points, man. All right, here we go.
It was the dog. It was the dog. The dog brushed up on my leg literally as soon as I shot it. We're not going to count that one. We'll reward the channel points, but as far as stats go of how many shots Zach makes and misses, that one does not count. Okay? He literally like brushed up on my leg. I, th I think he licked one leg and hit the other. It it it's a whole thing. You couldn't see it on camera. <sighs> it's ridiculous. All right, guys. Let let's start building this PC. So... You guys can type in exclamation point build or exclamation point parts list, whichever you prefer to see the full parts list of everything we're going to be building with today. If you're over on YouTube, shout out to you because there's a lot more people over on Twitch. So you guys are kind of like having your own party over there. But the link is the first link down in the description. Let's go through a quick uh, overview of what we're building with and then we will get started on this real quickly. All right. So... We had, Amanda gave me $1,500 to spend on this build. Naturally, I pushed that to the absolute limit, okay? In PC Part Picker, by the time we were done, we, we picked all the parts together on a Twitch live stream like a month ago. We had the parts list up to like $1,480, and that was way before taxes. So we went over budget, but I was told $1,500. I wasn't, it wasn't specified if that was before or after taxes. I'm just trying to hook you guys up. So I spent as much as possible. I think the total came out to like $1,580 or something. But we tried to use as many Jawa deals as possible. And thankfully, uh, there were five good ones, which is actually more than I expected. Like, that's a good bit for one PC build. We used five, build, or five deals from Jawa, five... Uh, parts from Amazon and one from Newegg. So a pretty good mixture there. And uh, these are all the parts. L let's go over them real quickly. For the CPU, we have the Intel i5 12600K. We just bought this brand new off Amazon for its typical like 260, 270 price. For the motherboard, we have the Asus Prime Z690-P. And this was actually a really good deal. We bought this used on Java, so I don't have the box or anything and we tried to match the aesthetics of like the white pc we're going for this is mostly silver we got a bunch of white accents on the actual pcb itself but it's nice and bright it'll brighten up the build and won't make it just an all black motherboard deep inside the case so that is the motherboard we're going with for the ram we got some glow way rgb i've actually never used these before these are some white sticks but they have RGBs on them, which I didn't even know Glowway had until the live stream when we were looking for it. So these we bought brand new on Amazon. For the SSD, this was another really, really good Jawa deal. This is the XBG SX8200 Pro. It's a one terabyte Gen 3 NVMe drive. Looking forward to that one. Thankfully, the seller kept the, kept the box. And another Jawa deal which this one was ultra surprising. This is the Enermax Evolu Revolution DF, which is 80 plus gold, fully modular, and it's tier A. And we paid $40 for it because I'm not sure of what the exact details are, honestly. But Enermax's like use division or like B stock, I don't know if they call it B stock, like EVGA does, but Enermax's B stock sells their used components on or return components they sell it on jawa which is really cool and this was 40 dollars for a tier a power supply i honestly should have bought like 12 of them because that is a really really good deal hopefully it holds up and then for some aesthetic parts cooling our 12 600k this is where a lot of the budget went we got the Kraken Z63, which is a 280 millimeter AIO with the LCD screen. And this is specifically the all white model. They don't have an all white model box, uh, unfortunately. So you can't see what it looks like. For some fans, we got some extra fractal aspect 14 140 millimeter RGB fans because the case we are using is the brand new fractal. Which one is it? The Pop Air which is an ATX case. And I thought I was going to love this case. On paper, this thing looks amazing. Let's clear up some space here. Pop, so Fractal Design came out with like three different sizes of this new like pop, this new pop series 
or whatever they're calling it. And I really, really like the aesthetics of this. We just bought this brand new on Amazon. Comes with three RGB fans. It's got like that super like aggressive uh, PSU shroud at the bottom, which I really like. It's got the fractal design quality. This, this thing feels top tier. But the problem that I'm seeing already, as soon as I unboxed it, I was like, wow, I, I can't believe I didn't notice it on the website, is it's a really awkward stance. Doesn't that look really, really wide? I, I, I'm not a fan of how much room is in the front here. It's almost awkward. Like the pictures of it, like looking like this, Look, t tell me what you guys think of this of, of the aesthetics of this case so far. I think this looks awesome. I, I actually like the stance of how it looks. Like it's a little bit shorter, um, and it just I I really like the the two tone with the the flat white here and then the the mesh RGB up here. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the aesthetics of this? I just think that this looks really awkward. There's going to be a lot of empty space over here. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna swap around some th the fans and whatnot, and we're gonna put the radiator up at the front to kind of add some thickness, if you will, to the front of the build. And we discovered that I don't think a radiator is gonna fit too nicely up top here. There is not a lot of room. This is where the motherboard is gonna be. I don't, even, I, don't I don't even think an, uh, any radiator would fit up here. So not really sure what's going on with that, but. The other really cool thing about this case, which I'm absolutely in love with, is if, you get, if you've seen the review, then you'll already know this, but I haven't watched a single piece of content on this case, and I just discovered this by accident when I unboxed it, but the front of the case has a storage drawer. This is a red, yeah, the chin, is that what they're calling it? This is a red alert as far, I didn't know this because I, I, I should have watched some videos. I'm sure this isn't news to a lot of you, but a storage drawer, you could put like some USB dongles in here, maybe a couple little cables, uh, like USB-C adapters or like SD card adapters, things like that. Oh my goodness. I would take advantage of this in a heartbeat. I love this feature. That is so cool that that is inside the case that's or outside the case I, I i'm absolutely in love with that and this is what the pre cable management is looking like there's actually not a ton of options it does come with two velcro straps pre-installed uh but like not it, it, like you could you could put some some big cable bundles over there but you don't see like the nzxt cable routes or anything i would like to see a little bit more action for this high end of a case but the one thing i also really like is there's an rgb button on top of the case and a SATA power, which allows you to control some RGB products. But unlike most cases, I actually really like this. Up at the top here where this red is, there is just a three pin ARGB connector up here. So you could just daisy chain any ARGB products to this and then just have them be controlled via this button rather than having to plug that into your motherboard and using software, which I know a lot of people want to do, but for Thirsty Thursday live streams like this, I like to show you what the color what color schemes are possible if I can help it because I don't install Windows and all that on these live streams. So I really, really like that feature that you can just use any ARGB product and all of these fractal RGB fans are three pin ARGB. So we'll just daisy chain them all We'll connect it right up to there, and then we'll be able to see the full aesthetic of this build minus whatever image or GIF you want to put on the LCD screen of the AIO. And then finally, for our last two products, we just got some Asia. I, I'm seeing a lot of notifications. Sorry. Sorry, guys. We'll, we'll get to that in just a minute. Um, we got some white Asia horse cable extensions, of course, because we don't go anywhere without that. And then finally, for the graphics card, this we also bought used off of Jawa. This was an obnoxious deal. I'm surprised nobody sniped this during the live stream. So thank you if you were at the live stream. And you, type a one in chat if you were at that live stream, by the way. I want to know who has context on all these part selections. But this is the MSI Ventus 2X RTX 3060 Ti. Bought this used on Jawa. Like I said, it was a really, really good deal. And it was like... I want to say it was like 380 maybe somewhere around there i don't remember the, the the prices but it was really good like i thought a lot of ones wow let's go thank you notifications are loud all right let me turn them down real quick my fault 
I'll turn them down. So, what, my expert advice here, uh, I gotta turn the music now, up now. My expert uh, people that, you know, tell me what to do, AKA the mods, they told me to turn the notifications up. Now I'm immediately, people are telling me to, to, to turn them down. What's up with that? Are they good now? Is that a good balance right there? Let me know. Yeah, a lot of ones. A lot of ones, though. GPU is 385, says Painful. Thank you very much. Painful's, Painful's been so clutch all night tonight already. He misses them if they aren't loud. Yeah, they, they have to be loud, but I'm still missing them. So <laughs> I'm missing them, and people are complaining that they're too loud. So it didn't work. They equals Shauner. That is true. Shauner specifically said that. All right, let's catch up on no notifications real quick. We got Dr. KSVX with the 10 biddies, says Shamrock. Oh, it was an emote. Thank you very much for the 10 biddies. Painful 10 biddies. Oh, I already read that one. Hardware Dynasty with the fit of biddies. Thank you very much, Hardware. Says the bottom is 2, 5.2.5 and a quarter bays. Uh, you can, for a 3 by 3.5 inch drive, hot swap bays. Yeah, but who's going to do that? Who wants hot swap? Who would, who realistically watching this live stream would want hot swappable 3.5 inch drives? Like if you're going to build a NAS, that would be cool. This would be an obnoxiously aesthetically pleasing NAS. But like who really wants that? Like why are they doing those type of features? I, Fractal Design, they might be able to get away with it because the audience of Fractal Design is probably a little bit more into that uh i would say a little bit more sophisticated maybe i'm not sure but it's still like why i don't get that uh dr ksv uh, ksvx again with the 10 biddies thank you very much much appreciated i wop with the tier one sub thank you very much first ever month also with twin sister first ever month with the twitch prime sub thank you very much painful the 10 biddies says mounting the front fans and rad on the inside of the case to take up the room that's exactly what i'm doing yeah, just trying to take up some of that empty space there. Painful Ten Biddies says that's because of the five and a quarter. Yep, got that. Hustle King with the Ten Biddies is back. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Painful the Ten Biddies says, what breed is Griffin? He is a half lab, half husky. His uh his mom was a full Siberian husky, and his dad was a uh, a lab. Brad with the Twitch Prime subcom for 18 months has been too many times been bit too many times on this deal i don't know what you're talking about on the basketball shot maybe either way thank you painful attempty says oh my basketball shot oh no i already read that one all right we're good i think we're all caught up doctor i'm just gonna well i can't no i can't say doctor doctor k i'm gonna say dr k dr k with the 75 biddies thank you very much much appreciated hardware attempty says for a server that's why I, I get that but like i just don't think there's that many people interested how many people are buying a fractal design a pop air for a server uh, it, it 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 the aesthetics are too good for a server riff swamp with the tier one sub come back for three months this four months later absolutely loving a computer i built with the help of your community L our community first off long live ztt i'm really glad to hear that though if you got some serious help in the exclamation point discord server uh that makes me really happy dead man with the tier one sub come back for six months in a row for six total says zach what's good bro hope you're doing well and can't wait to see this banger build you know, I legitimately tried to build this PC quicker than normal, and we are at the exact same spot. It's been 44 minutes, and the, the CPU is not even on the desk. I, 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 I can't get it quicker than that. Today, I specifically said, we're going to hit at the 30-minute mark. It's just, it's, it's actually impossible. It's actually impossible. Jonathan says, I'm in your exclusives. That's what's up. I just need a server that fits my room aesthetic. Well, I, I mean... Yeah, I, I, I'm definitely not going to deny that that would be a good option. I just don't, I just don't understand Fractal's perspective on that because there's not many people in that case. But you're right, like that would definitely, that would definitely work. Uh, Zach, are you looking forward to the new AMD seventh gen Ryzen? I'll answer this real quickly. Uh, no, um, the the f at least the four CPUs that we just saw. No, not, not a single one of them look appealing. The DDR5 requirement, not ha not coming with stock coolers. You know, motherboard prices are just going to be through the roof when it first comes out. It's not going to change any of my build guides, I don't think. I may build one PC with a 7600X 
early just like here on thirsty thursday just so i can experience some some new hardware i want to touch the the am5 platform and all that but like realistically anybody that's flipping pcs none of those cpus are going to change what you're purchasing at least i don't think so just because the the starting the the cheapest 7600x build that you can get is going to get demolished price to performance wise by uh like a 12 12400f system most likely 12600k system even um and then we have intel 13th gen coming out uh, a little bit later so we'll see what happens but no i'm not excited about any of them maybe maybe a ryzen 3 7000 series would be cool uh probably next year but we don't know are you building this whole pc tonight yeah we're gonna build this is how we do literally every thirsty thursday guys we we sit and chat we drink some beer and we start building after like 45 minutes sorry for the delay can someone please help we're not we're not troubleshooting we're not troubleshooting i just sold my second pc on jawa let's go two more to go i sold that 6500 xt build oh nice is that the, the 6500 xt build we were talking about nice may i ask what desk you're using a desk that's going to be replaced immediately i don't know if you can see it that box right there has been sitting here for about two months all of the ZTT audience knows this, but these are electronic standing legs that you put on a tabletop. We're going to replace the shaky table that I'm sure that's why you're asking. You're probably not asking the table because you like it. It's very shaky. We're going to replace the legs as soon as I just make the commitment to, to change those legs out. But it's just not a fun process, which is why I haven't done it yet. But we're going to get there. We're going to get there. All right. Let's get the motherboard on deck here. So if you guys did join late, if you don't know what the scoop is, we are going to be building this PC again to celebrate the one year anniversary of the Jawa website. And we're going to be, let's do a giveaway right now. Let's do a giveaway real quickly. Let's mix things up a little bit. You know, before we start building, we're going to be doing a couple random giveaways before or during the live stream, before we uh, complete this system and then give away the system. Do you want to do a $20 Steam gift card giveaway or some Jawa merch first? Jawa merch or $20 gift card giveaway? Which guys feeling? The very first message will make the decision. The very first message that I see. What's the first one? Apple? How do you enter? How to sign up? Jawa merch. All right, Jawa merch it is. So we are going to give away a, let's do a Jawa beanie i have i have rights i have amanda gave me the rights to give away a jawa beanie so you're gonna be able to enter whether you're on youtube or twitch we're just gonna make this a real quick three minutes and i don't know how amanda's gonna feel about this but i'm gonna give a little couple extra bonus tickets to the exclusives because at the end of the day we're still here on the ztt channel and exclusives are my people so everyone can enter for one ticket but if you're an exclusive aka a twitch sub or a youtube member you're gonna get three extra bonus tickets i think that's fair i think that's fair you know i gotta i got i gotta hook my people up if you're an exclusive you have three extra bonus tickets and that giveaway is now live so just type in exclamation point raffle that'll get you entered you can enter by the way on both youtube and twitch a little bit of a cheat code there uh and if you're an exclusive you'll get three extra bonus tickets that is for the jawa beanie and it's us only just said that earlier it's us only <laughs> say unraffle if you're not in the us <laughs> us only sorry guys <laughs> and i'm gonna sip on my beer while you guys type all that you wet the whistle a little bit uh dim the Demonaru with the Twitch Prime sub. Very nice. I like the I like the timing on that. Also the timing with Metro with the Twitch Prime sub. Trying to boost their chances on the Jawa. On the Jawa merch. That's a, that's sharp. And, you know, I, I gotta give you credit for that. Painful Attempity says, just gotta do either push, pull, or Funko Pop in the pop air to fill that front room. A Funko Pop would go a long way in this case. I definitely agree on that one. Yeah, we uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Maybe we should maybe we should tell Amanda that we need some Jawa figures, some Jawa um, 
Funko Pop things? That'd be pretty cool. Yes, this is the PC that we're building. Yes, that is for the Gleam giveaway, which I have all of the entries to. We're just going to run a random number generator once the PC is fully built, and we're going to give it away to somebody here. Uh, but for all the other giveaways, you, you'll be able to enter during the live stream. That way, you, that way, if you did miss the main, the main giveaway, you, you still have chances to win things. Doc says, Dr. Dr. Deals Funko Pops. That's actually not a terrible idea. It's not a bad idea at all. I mean, there might be like three people that buy it, but it's, it would still be cool. It would still be cool. I want a Jawa beanie to make, uh, make my school get to know Jawa. It's not a terrible idea. You know, you could you could pitch that to the Jawa staff. Maybe they'll send you one for free. You know, if you're going to do some advertising, free advertising, it's not a terrible idea. I literally just closed the, the, the giveaway page. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> my bad. My bad. It's got to be closed by now. Has that been three minutes? Giveaways. Oh, 20 seconds left. Okay, 20 seconds left. 140 different people have entered. Chances are a low on the Jawa beanie. Hopefully everyone that entered is from the United States though. Por favor. What do baller points do? Baller, what do baller points not do? They're, they're honestly everything in this community. You actually did nothing. We, yeah, we haven't determined that yet. It's, it's work in progress. I would just recommend building up as many as possible that's the that's the meta that's the thing to do hardware with the 10 bit he says how about a dr deal stuffy stuffed animal stuffy doesn't sound right a stuffy that's not what people say is it have you ever heard the term stuffy no people don't say that you can't you can't come in here and say we should make a dr deal stuffy no nobody's gonna know what that means man how many people know what stuffy means? That, no, that, that that idea just got denied. No matter no matter how good the idea was, even if you were talking about stuff, that, that, that that's obnoxious. You can't say the word stuffy. All right, we're gonna pick the winner for the Jawa beanie in three, two, one. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, here I be. Let's go. Previously supported us uh, just a couple minutes ago. Here I be. Congrats on the Jawa beanie. Please message me on Twitch so I don't forget. We're recording this whole live stream so I can go back. But please message me on Twitch. I'll get you hooked up. Or if Jawa official is here, uh, they can just hook you up on that. That was for the Jawa beanie. There we go. Now we're building a PC. Plushy? Yeah, I've heard the word plushy before. Australians? They say... I mean, Harper is not Australian. But do they say stuffy? I don't even believe that. Sunnies for sunglasses. Is that why you were saying sunnies today? <laughs> Stuffy. Oh, Deeth says someone tells Zach I'm okay with shipping merch to Canada for the giveaway. Okay. Canada, you're allowed to enter too. Sorry, I didn't know that. <laughs> I've heard both. Stuffy? What? No, you haven't heard the word stuffy. That's made up on the spot. There's no way. You don't say stuffy, WTF. <laughs> I just don't think that that's a thing. Okay, all right, all right. I'll use a knife. Relax. Relax. We'll use a knife. Painful Intempity says stuffy is what's said in Canada, but Mark right before that said no, not at all. How far away do you guys live in Canada? I just assume that everyone in Canada is a neighbor. Is their neighbors, right? Everyone that I know that's from Canada, like, they have to live close by, right? I do. I have grandkids, and they call them stuffies. Wow. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. She gave me a stu- <clears throat> Okay. All right. Moving on. All right. We're going to install the CPU. Where are we at? 55-minute mark. That is not good. <laughs> that's not bad. That's close to the 30-minute mark. You know, that's decently close. It's oh, Wow. This is our 12600K. I did have Sam check our motherboard and parts for this build before we're even using them to ensure that we are good to go for this build. But the 12600K is officially 
installed, ladies and gentlemen. We are actually building a PC right now. We definitely say stuffy in Canada. But Harbor is from Te Harbor's in Texas. What? Why would he say that? I'm just, I'm just not buying it. Almost an hour in, the CPU is coming in. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. But look at this. We're going to get this RAM and this SSD installed ASAP. Doesn't sound right. I love I love the color scheme of the build so far. What? Metal and metal? <laughs> Silver? <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, we, we, we're off to a good start with the motherboard. I'll give you that. We're off to a good start. So, my trusty expert, Painful, suggested that I install this SSD in... Here's what he said. This is definitely a Gen 3. Oh, never mind. This is Gen 3. Okay. So, all of the... Oh, okay, yeah. Gen 4, X4. This one doesn't say. Okay. So these are apparently, all three of these SSD slots are Gen 4 uh, by four lanes. So he was suggesting, well, I don't know why you make that suggestion then. No, I'm going to put it here, man. I'm going to put it underneath the heat sink. I don't know why you make that suggestion of... He was saying I should put the SSD here because if they did upgrade to a Gen 4 drive, they could put it there. But uh, that's a lot of forward thinking for me, man. We're just going to install right here uh, and call it a day. Painful Attempity says, weirdly enough, that M.2 heat spreader from the top slot can be put on the bottom slot? Why would I need to know that, though? Not, that, that's too much information, man. Okay? Painful, you have a very important spot here at ZTT. But please don't feed me information that I don't need to know. Because that's just going to overload the brain. All right? That's just going to overload it a little bit. Look at that. Standoff is right there with our screw. Gonna pop this bad boy in right here. And it'll be good to go. Painful Tempity says, my suggestion was so that they don't have to remove the GPU to add another SSD later. That, uh, that's, uh, that's unnecessary, Painful. That's, I mean, you're, you're objectively right. Okay. But that, that, that's too, it's too forward thinking. Okay. I don't want to bend over backwards here to appease a giveaway winner of a $1,500 PC. All right. I think they're going to be perfectly fine with it here. And they'll be able to use this nice heat spreader. It, it's, it's all good right here, man. It's all good. Max78 with tier one sub come back for three months in a row. Now rocking the silver ZTT badge. That is what's up. You know, tested the exclusives out for one, not one month, but two months. And now making the commitment to the third. Thank you very much. I need a cooler. Mine is going out. Never got hot until today. Well, to be fair, it was really hot outside today. So maybe that was it. <laughs> okay, there we go. SSD is now installed. Now we're going to play with my first time ever using this RAM, actually. So if you're part of the ZTT community, you'll know that we use Glowway White RAM all the time. But during the live stream, when we were trying to find uh, all the deals for the build, I, I at least discovered, it sounded like a lot of people in the Twitch stream also discovered that Glowway now makes white... Who, who knew about this before the live stream? Who knew about this white Glowway kit with RGB? This is what the sticks are looking like. And it's actually really, really nice. So even just a side profile without RGBs is ultra clean. It still has the Glowway logo on it, which the non-RGB sticks do as well. But... I really, really like how this looks. This is, I remember the pictures. These were ultra diffused and they just look super clean. I like the, the two-tone again. It kind of matches the two-tone of our case. And I love these sticks, man. These were like $57, $58 or something. Two by eight gigabytes, 3,200 megahertz, I think. Yeah, 3,200 megahertz. It's going to look really good. 
But I don't I don't think a lot of people knew about this kit before we before that live stream. Those are awesome. Yeah, I really really like these. I'll definitely be using these. So th this is going to compete with wow. Got the previous previous owner's dog hair in, in here. Okay, nice. We um I have a feeling I'm going to be using these a lot. They are competing with Team Group's uh, White Delta RGBs. Those are usually also at like $57 for the White RGB kit, 2x8, 3200 megahertz. But I actually I actually like the way these look better. We'll, we'll see in person what the RGBs actually look like. But I think, judging from the picture, that these are going to look a little bit better. So the last thing we want to do for the motherboard prep is we're going to get out the AIO and install the mounting hardware for the, the pump itself. I always like to do this before installing the motherboard into the case because I want to have all this room. Who knows what the, the back plate situation looks like. And we'll just figure all of this out now before it's in the case. So we're not going to be using the NZXT fans. We actually don't need those at all. This is the mounting hardware, and I see Intel 1700 ready to go right there. I don't remember. Does this one have an instruction booklet or no? I forget. I've used this CPU a bunch of times. We got There's two of these in my house right now. Uh, I think two more in the studio, and I've definitely sold a couple builds with this AIO. So we've... We've certainly used this multiple times, but I don't think it comes with the instruction booklet, unfortunately, because I don't remember how to install this stuff. Okay, we don't need AM4. We're going to need that. We're going to need that. We're going to need that. And we're probably going to need this. Okay, so this is probably just going to go in the back here. Maybe it's pre-sized for 1700. That would be clutch. Oh my goodness, it is. Wow. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, entries for the PC are closed, but we are going to be doing random giveaways throughout the night. Like we already gave away the Jawa beanie. Our danger with 100 biddies. I, I already finished my beer, man. I got to go get another one. I'll remember that. Thank you very much for the 100 biddies. All right, these are for LGA 1700 specifically. Looks like they're the same on both sides. We're just gonna install them into these, the back plate that we just installed and we should be good. Should be good on just that. The 240R AIO recall, yeah, that, that's unfortunate couple people had that looks like the my t-force white delta rgbs yeah they do look very similar but i think i judging by the pictures which definitely could be fake news but judging by the pictures i think these actually look a little bit better than the delta rgbs i've used those a couple times and they're, they're perfectly fine budget white rgb ram sticks but i think these actually look a little bit better but we're about to find out Apparently, you should explain why the RAM goes in slots 2 and 4. Uh, I don't know who's asking that, but this is just always the default slot config for motherboard slot 2 and 4. If you're ever in doubt, if you're the first time installing a PC, your motherboard manual, whether it's paper or online, it will always tell you whether you have 1, 2, or 4 sticks of RAM exactly where to install it. So just consult your motherboard manual if you have to, but when you have 2 sticks, Slots two and four, if you start left, like one, two, three, four, this is going to be your, your config. Yeah, you can no longer enter for the PC. This was a Jawa giveaway PC, and they ran a month-long giveaway that I've told the community about multiple times at this point. So don't be mad at me. But, like I said, we're, we're going to be doing other giveaways tonight. So, the next thing I want to do is let's prep our power supply and then we'll start prepping our case because we got a little bit of work to do here this is again the Enermax revolution df 80 plus gold fully modular unit and it is rated tier a we did buy this used on jawa 
directly from Enermax. I think it's like their B stock or their like their return units and whatnot. It still looks like everything is perfectly wrapped up and looks like it's green shape. And honestly, it even smells like a brand new component. It has like that distinct uh, factory smell coming out of it. So it's all properly, everything's all properly uh, tied up and everything. Like you would kind of think that this is a new product, but it's definitely been, if this is a used product, it's definitely been serviced before, or it could just be a return. Could just be a return or something. Who knows? So for the modular power supply, we're gonna install our 24 pin cable for the motherboard. We're going to install a SATA power for the case. The case is RGB. If, if you're if we're gonna route all of our um, case fans through the RGB of the case, the case button, we're gonna need some SATA power. So we'll plug that in. We're also going to need some six plus two action for our graphics card. I think we have a double eight pin for the graphics card today. So we're gonna plug one of those bad boys in. And then the last thing we need is a four plus four pin for our CPU into the motherboard. So we'll plug that in. And then that's all the cases we're gonna need of our modular power supply. So we can put this away. When is the winner announced? As soon as we turn on the PC. As soon as we turn on the PC, I have the list of everybody that is entered into the giveaway. And we're just gonna run a random number generator and pick a winner from there. When does he drop PCs? The, it's the first of every month. Now, this upcoming launch is October 1st which is a Saturday. So I'm not sure if I'm actually going to launch it on Saturday or not. We shall see what happens with that. So if you are trying, I know the PCs sold quickly today. We sold, we sold out all seven PCs in like three and a half hours today. So I know some people are a little bummed that you weren't able to pick one up. But if you are trying to like still, if you're going to wait and try to buy one for October 1st, then definitely follow me on Twitter and join us in the exclamation point discord server, because I don't know when we're going to launch the October launch. Cause I'm not sure if I'm going to launch on October 1st, cause it's a Saturday. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I haven't thought too far ahead on that one. You guys think I should launch on the Saturday Are people buying PCs on Saturdays? Is that what people do? Doc's leaving. Okay, Zach, I'm off to bed. Early day tomorrow. Good night, people. See ya, Doc. All right, so now we're just plugging in cable extensions, which almost every single one of my builds has. Of course, we fit that into the budget. We're going for a white and black gaming PC for today's build. So, of course, we need some white extensions. I use Asia Horse almost all the time unless if i'm looking for a specific color scheme that asia horse doesn't have or if like a company sends me some some kits or or what it, there's a couple cases where i'll try something new but if it's just if i'm just looking for quick and easy asia horses is what we go with so one thing i do need to check is the case real quickly yeah so we're gonna need, let's get out our graphics card real quickly. I'm pretty sure our graphics card, is, before we start cable combing this, pretty sure our graphics card is an eight plus eight connector. And we're gonna need to do some custom cable combing action for that. Oh, I forgot to mention, we're also using a custom GTEC backplate. I completely forgot about that. This is, if you guys have seen on the website, this is from GTEC himself, GTEC on Twitter, GTech on YouTube, and this is his second ever commission. Commission numero dos, if you will. He's building these Jawa backplates, rocking the black and white color scheme. Literally exactly what we're going for. Custom fit to the backplate. 
of your graphics card, whichever one you tell him that you want it for. And yeah, he did a really, really good job. Sorry, completely forgot to mention that when we were going over the parts. Completely forgot. This is what it's going to look like. So the MSI Ventus, I, this is a really good card for black and white builds just because the lettering and the branding is all black and white as well. This would look good by itself, no doubt. But the back plate is going to take it up to the next level. So if is G-Tech here? G-Tech killing it with that back plate. He did a really, like, I love the angle like this. When you're looking like somewhat above the graphics card, this looks so good. It actually, like, the white GeForce RTX uh, logo here actually complements the back plate. Like, it looks like this card was built with this back plate in mind, which I'm super happy about it. Uh, G-Tech says, much appreciated, Zach. Did the back plate arrive okay? I was a little worried about the finish getting scuffed. No, there. I checked. There wasn't a single, um, like, mark of paint or anything on the wrapping paper that you used. It, it, it arrived in probably the exact same condition that you gave it. Now, I will say, I'm glad G-Tech is here. I don't know how many commissions he's done so far for this, but... You need to include G-Tech some mounting hardware. There's no sort of like, it's like, I don't know if you fully explained this in the posting. Maybe you did, but there's nothing that came included to mount this to my graphics card. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it today, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use double-sided stick tape just on the four screws because that's how like companies like v1 tech do it they use like little magnets on here that are then double-sided stick taped uh th that'll be perfectly fine like you don't need a ton of uh mounting pressure to keep a back plate on here like you're not going to be throwing this thing around it'll be perfectly fine but yeah you didn't include any mounting hardware so just as a a little bit of a tip i, I would definitely include that or if the posting says like you got to mount it yourself then then that would be all right as well but i i was a little uh surprised to to see that there was no mounting hardware and clue but regardless this looks amazing this looks really really cool don't you have some magnets from v1 tech laying around yeah i i could use those as well uh g tech says i know i have some super small magnets with adhesive that sit perfectly on the four large spring loaded screws and i totally forgot to package them in the okay so if you if you do that with everybody else then that's fine yeah yeah, I don't care that you didn't bring them for me, but I just wanted to make sure that you're going to send everybody else mounting hardware because that is uh, ultra omega important for back plates. But yeah, regardless, it looks really, really good, and it's going to complement our build very, very nicely. Shout out to V1 Tech, always packing extra magnets and such. Yeah, like if, if you've bought a couple a couple V1 Tech backplates, then you're set because you'll have extra mounting hardware for 12 more, 12 more backplates. You'll be good. Someone said it's upside down. No, it's not upside down. This is what it looks like. That's going to look so clean, man. I love it. It, it. On camera, it looks even better. It looks so good. I'm loving that aesthetic. But yeah, oh, so it's not a double eight pin painful painful is the person that i was relying on here this is just a single eight pin i knew that sounded off for a 3060 ti it's just a single eight pin so we don't need any custom custom cable combs we're good okay that makes things way easier all right so let's start cable combing our extensions real quickly we'll get this moving that's hot yeah g tech did a really nice job i, I actually really like it I don't know if, I don't know how long it takes. I'd be interested to know how long it takes him to do that. And you can just buy that directly on Jawa. If you guys didn't already know. And then you just tell him what graphics card you have. And then he'll look up the specs for it and everything. And, and get that all over to you. Doug the Gamer Dad. I like the name, Doug. I have two 3060 Ti's on hand. One uses a single 8. One uses a 6 plus 8. I don't know any models using 8 plus 8. I knew that sounded off. I don't know why I trusted Painful. Let's see what he says. 
Painful the 10, but he says, wow, I did a quick search for images. Google lied to me. No, 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 painful. Google did not lie to you. You lied to me. That's the only lying. You incorrectly researched something. Google's not lying to you. Okay. You got to take responsibility for your actions, you know, and I take responsibility for listening to you because somebody was quoting out there that you're about, you're right about 70% of the time, every time. So I can't trust every single thing that you say. So that's all me as well. But thankfully we looked it up for, our, or we looked at it ourselves first. What would painful's approval rate being be? Were you guys all here for the Monday stream when we did Grex's approval rating? Grex is currently sitting in terms of ZTT Discord mods at a 51% approval rating, which uh, it, it, it's kind of concerning. I think we can all agree that it's kind of concerning. Where would Painful be? If you guys had to throw a guess of what Painful's approval rating would be, what, what do you guys think it's at? I have a guess, but I want to see what you guys are thinking. <sighs> yeah, the GPU is a 3060 Ti. 72.9%? I mean, that's pretty high. Mark says 2%. Yikes. I thought you guys were like neighbors. 69%, 80%, 60%, 46%? You think he's lower than Grex on the approval rating? Wow. 67, 69, 67, 42.69. It's valid. That's valid. This is the first stream of yours that I caught CT. I'm new ish to Jawa selling under the account. Uh, video game specialist. Nice. I'll keep an eye out when I'm writing my Friday feature. Keep an eye out. I don't think I've, uh, yeah, I don't think I've written about one of your builds yet. OCIY rating with a party of six. Welcome, welcome. How's the raid team doing tonight? What are we guys up to? I think highly of all the mods. That's nice of you. That's really nice. Even Grex. Even Grex. Definitely a formidable seller on the Jawa block. Yeah, I don't think I've written one yet on him, on them. Anyone on Jawa doing sleepers? Yeah, there is. I think Rayan does sleepers, doesn't he? Doesn't Rayan do the sleepers? I don't know if he's still doing them. I, I remember, pretty sure he was doing sleepers at the very beginning. Hey, Zach, my Jawa store is the same name as my name you see here. Wow, way to try to promote yourself on that one, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> Rand is great at doing... Yeah, it was Rand Sleepers. I think his, I think his store name is Rand Sleepers, right? We live 36 driving hours away. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Rand's PC Parts and Sleepers. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah. Is he still posting? Is he still posting new sleepers? Are new sleepers still coming out? I think our the I think the first build we ever sold was a Rand sleeper. Very nice. That's wild. That's wild. What's up, Zombie Prepper over on YouTube? I am monitoring the YouTube chat, but. <laughs> I complain about this every single thirsty Thursday, but it's what, the, what happened here? Did I, did these get mixed up? Oh my God. They did get mixed up. That's embarrassing. Okay. I don't want, I don't want the customer to deal with this. We're going to have to redo this real quick. Is uh, Rand is mostly an arms dealer now. Zach, if you're looking to review a build, I have one going up on the weekend. If you want, I can ping you. I mean, pinging me is not going to, like I look at all the recent, so whenever I pick who I'm gonna write about, I sort the builds by recently added. Cause I, I don't, I don't want to write about a build that's been sitting there for weeks and weeks. Cause if it hasn't sold yet, then there's probably a reason why. Um, so I, I like to look at the freshly um, posted builds, and honestly, telling me about it is not gonna like help your chances at all. Cause I, I'll go through, and I, I always narrow it down to like five to ten that I really like. And then I just open them all up in different tabs and start comparing and 
you know, eventually come to a decision which one I think is worthy of the the feature. And I was I was going to write about one last week, but we had a, a different newsletter scheduled, and I just saw that that build already sold, so I couldn't write about it this week. It was from Commenter. Commenter's in here now, right? Commenter, you're, you're all white build. I was going to write about that one that you just sold uh, like a week or two ago. That, that thing was beautiful. I was going to write about that. Congrats on the five-hour sellout. Thank you very much. Yeah, today was a good day. Today was a good day. It was weird, though. It was weird because... Commenter goated. Goated? Yeah. He makes really, really good builds. Um, it was a weird day for the website launch, though, because no one from the exclusives bought a PC. We always, always have at least one or two. I mean, last month we have four. But we always have at least one or two exclusives take advantage of the password-protected website uh, and buy one. And we didn't have a single exclusive purchase. And, like, I was actually questioning. I was like, is the website working? Like, what, what's going on here? So I left it password-protected to them for 30 minutes. Nobody bought anything. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to launch it to everybody else. And then they just all start selling. Five of them sold in an hour. And then the last two sold over the next like two and a half hours where's the brew at though we're, i already i already finished it we're gonna drink another one we're gonna drink another one as soon as i'm done with these cable combs sorry this is taking so long team side panel picks the fractal torrent one yeah that that was it that was it that was the one i wanted to write about the fractal torrent build that was so oh my goodness that was beautiful. I had it queued up and everything, but I learned last minute that a different newsletter was going to go out. So I was hoping that I could just save that for one week. Uh, but it sold. It was too good. It was too good. It didn't, la it didn't last long enough on the market. Unfortunately. All right. Two more cable combs and then we're done. Good luck to everybody in the giveaway. <sighs> me and gtech were chatting in dms about a 3070 vision he was about to buy turned out to be a straight up scam the seller ripped uh images from an ebay listing yeah i mean some people do some shady stuff like you know i've had people post my builds like pictures of my builds on their local marketplaces and then like you know people do shady stuff like that all the time Doc is the best mod, hands down. I mean, he's definitely the best at finding deals. But who knows? Maybe we'll get a Canadian deals god one day. Paying for the 100 bitties says, poll is up. Oh, best ZTT mod. Wow. Shauner pulling away. What? I mean, I'm not, like, surprised. Oh, Grex, Shauner, Mark, painful, or not Doc. Got it. Shauner, 43%. Greg's getting a solid 2% of the votes. <laughs> Bro, who the F would use other people's PC pictures? Somebody in the chat. If y'all aren't voting for Shauner, y'all are throwing. Wow, that's strong. Good for you, Shauner. The people's, the people's mod. Shauner gets the dub. 63 votes for 43 percent not bad shauner nice work i'll have to uh i'll have to write that one down when we go through our yearly performance uh reviews you know this year we're every year i just i i, I give all the mods uh like a, a christmas bonus if you will i'm already paying them millions of dollars throughout the year to maintain both twitch youtube and discord moderation duty so i pay them substantially just a lot of money and then i always give them a cool christmas bonus for uh like with some products like last year was i gave them the wow stick electric screwdriver the corsair hs80 uh, headsets this one and a couple of the little things this year i'm gonna give the christmas bonuses based off of performance so somebody what should the lowest gift be 
the lowest approval rating what should their christmas bonus gift be uh please let me know but while you guys decide that i'm gonna go to the bathroom real quickly i'm gonna freshen up on a new beer and then we're gonna keep building i'll be right back what's the gift what should the gift be for the lowest approval rating mod a molex extension it's not bad that's not bad a gtx 1630 that's a lot of money that's a lot of money for like a joke gift i don't know if i would do that 50 dollars steam gift card for the worst performing mod 50 dollars oh man that's a little too rich for my blood for the worst what Painful Tempity says three hydrates. All right, we're hydrating up. Molex to eight pin adapters. Well, those are actually kind of useful. <laughs> you never know. At least SATA to eight pin. SATA to eight pin, you know, you're putting together an office, uh, OEM PC, maybe a Dell Optiplex that doesn't have a, a six pin connector on there. <laughs> They're somewhat useful. Uh, go sun a metal. Go go. Am I wasted? Go sun a metal with the the tier one sub. Thank you very much. I don't know how to say that name though. All right, beer numero dos. We're trying something else. Still on the September first pumpkin spice train. I don't know if I've ever tried this one before. Wait, hey, what, what's your rating on this uh, atomic pumpkin? Like you like it? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Out of five. 3.7 that's not that high this is from new belgium Ag again voodoo ranger i drink a ton of their beers but this is the atomic pumpkin special release and it says spicy on it which has me a, a little bit worried honestly 6.4 percent and you know the whole voodoo ranger deal i drink a ton of these this is the color it's probably just another amber ale check this one out Oh, that one's better. That one's better than the dogfish head. That one, not, not that the dogfish head was bad, but this one's good. The art makes me want to drink. I really drink. I, I hundred percent judge a beer by its by its can art. Hundred percent. Six point four percent, only point five percent too low. All right. Yo, wow, that's really good. I might chug that. Wow, that's really good. Love a good voodoo. Yeah, so the problem is most of us like a good voodoo. I got a neighbor up the street. I don't know who it is, but we have some neighbor who's been drinking voodoos for months now because there is, there's a voodoo can of beer every single time we go on a dog walk and it is not the same can. Some of them are crushed. Some of them are full sized. Some of them are a block up the street. They're all over the place. Somebody is continuously drinking voodoos and then throwing them off their front porch. I, 
it's ridiculous. They're, they're, they're not painting a good image of the Voodoo Ranger Brewery. It, it, it's ridiculous. I, as soon as we figure that out, we're, we need to get to the bottom of that ASAP. Zach, when are you coming out to hang in New Belgium at the New Belgian Brewery? It's legit five minutes from my house. Wow. Did not know that. I heard there are a bunch of litterers, though, which could be a possible problem. ND3D ND, ND3 Mike with the tier uh, the Amazon Prime sub. Thank you very much. Twitch Prime sub. Oh my god, I'm getting wasted. Thank you very much. Uh, Doug the Gamer Dad with a hundred bit. He says, I know I'm new here, but it's time to run a train on this. I mean, it's time to start a hype train. See, the the skill of reading the message before I say it out loud is absolutely gone. But you did get us to the level two hype train. So thank you very much. Our second hype train of the night. Let's go. You gotta throw them in your truck bed. Voodoo? No, Voodoo's not a truck bed kind of beer. Truck bed, tr truck bed beers are like Bud Lights. Nobody throws Voodoo's in the truck bed. I don't know if I do, if I believe that. If I sub, do I join the ZTT Discord? Well, anyone can join the exclamation point Discord, but we have some exclusive sections, which, yeah, you gotta be a Twitch sub or a YouTube member. Just make sure you link your Twitch account and your uh, Discord account, and then you'll get access. That's how we roll. All right, so our power supply is finally prepped. The last thing we need to prep is our AIO. But before we do that, we got to get our case out because we're going to do some fan switcheroo options before we start installing these components because here's the deal. All right, if you missed it, this is the Fractal Pop Air ATX case. Pretty brand new. Uh, Hustle King with the Fitty Bitties. I think you're already in the Fitty Bitty committee, but if you're not, there you go. Two Jinx with the Tier 1 sub, boosting us up uh, through that level 2 hype chain. Thank you very much. Uh, Mistress Koala. Well, that's a name. With 100 Bitties. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. The problem with this is... Wow, I'm missing something here. It's lagging. Oh, Twin Sister with the 100 Bitties again. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. You guys are going a little crazy on this level 2 hype. All right, all right, all right, all right. Should we, should, we, should we take a break? Should we take a break? I'll start drinking. I'll start drinking. Anonymous Gifter. A second gifted god of the night. Gifted out a tier 1 sub to Doug the Gamer Dad. Let's go. That's a great choice. I don't think that was random. I think whoever Anonymous Gifter is, you definitely hand-selected that... that uh, that gifted sub, didn't you? Giving out one to Doug the Gamer Dad. Welcome to the exclusives, Doug. Uh, we would love to have you. Make sure you link that Twitch in that Discord account. And who? And thank you to whoever Anonymous is. <laughs> Bud Gates with 200 biddies and no message. I, I would rather see a message. I don't like the biddy. I don't just like being thrown biddies. I need a message. Por favor. But thank you nonetheless for the 200 biddies. How do I enter the giveaway? Let's do a giveaway real quick. Let's do a giveaway. All right. We'll, 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 we'll put the PC build aside. Although, we are not. The goal... Wow! 100 biddies! Who's that from? Who did that? The Arctic! The Arctic! That's a throwback Arctic! Thank you very much for the 100 biddies and the support. That is what's up. Much appreciated. Boosting us up. Brad with the 10 biddies says, It's time for the train. Or, it's for the train. Still. Oh, Brad also with the fit of biddies. Welcome to the, that Fitty Bitty Committee is very packed. The lounge in there, I'm so sorry. It is very packed. But we do have spicy pumpkin beers back there. Is it safe to consume alcohol and build a PC? Well, here's the deal. We've been streaming on Thirsty Thursday for like 31 months now. I think our longest sub is someone for 31 months. We haven't had anything like actually bad happen. So I think at this point, I can recommend it. And honestly, suggest it. Like if you're building PCs and you're above the legal age and you don't have like, you know, one one glass of beer or one, one beer, you know, maybe a glass of whiskey or something, you might be missing out on the experience. It's a whole new thing. It's a whole new thing. You know, when you start seeing double, that's where it gets tricky. It gives you a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of a challenge. Bud Gates with 100 bitty says, here's a message. That's, that's, I appreciate, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. That'll work. That'll work. That'll get the job done. I think it's like swimming and you got to wait 30 minutes after drinking before PC building or cramps. That is true. That is true. That's what they say. Why is people typing exclamation point raffle? Guys, don't follow the leader. Oh my God. <laughs> Who's to blame here? Who's the first person? 
official lover hall just to oh my god look at all those people doing exclamation point raffle <laughs> oh no it wasn't them who did it who started that Zeno. no tegan it was tegan tegan typed in exclamation point raffle and at oh my god at least a hundred of you wow close to a million of you have typed in that's you guys think it's funny and you're trolling but that's sad that's legit following the leader and like oh my god there's no giveaway right now that's awful if you're I, I, before you i i see everyone type in i see i i, I uh, it's so funny before you type it i would just recommend if you are still at this point in the game not in the follow the leader crew and you haven't typed in exclamation point raffle give yourself a pat on the back because the whole chat is just exclamation point raffle and if you've remained calm didn't panic logically thought about the situation like oh wait he, there is no giveaway going on right now then then good for you you know you deserve some praise for not just following everybody else because uh, we, we are not running a giveaway right now <laughs> kale says pat's back <laughs> i typed it what do i do i we're gonna have some training courses on making decisions for yourself you know we have the the anti-racism one that we got to send out for the people that got banned from the discord server that one's mandatory we're gonna send out some cybersecurity training material as well for all the people that keep getting hacked on discord the next one will be for making decisions for yourself and not just following the leader i think that's important and that's up there it's up there the cybersecurity is going to help the most amount of people in the community for sure Doug the Gamer Dad with the Fitty Bitty says, I just want to be part of the Fitty Bitty Committee. No, it's not Fitty Itty Bitties. It's Fitty Bitties. Re Get him out. Get him out. Doug had his chance. That was fun while it lasted. Get him out. It's not Fitty Itty Bitties. Although that does sound really... Oh. That might work. That might work. Fitty Itty Bitty Committee? Nah, I don't like Itty. That make, it, it belittles us. No, I'm not a fan. Uh, Doug, someone kick Doug out, please. Pay for the 100 Bitties. It says <laughs> exclamation point raffle <laughs> painful the he says no message on the last one because i had to keep the train alive we are at the level three hype train it is dying though it's dying but it's okay you guys are going wild painful the hundred biddies and no message uh sd1 ranger with the two dollar super chat or no not super chat just uh donation my fantasy team is built around burrow cup and chub thoughts well here's the thing the browns and the Bengals. They have at least, they both have two games where they're going to be, get completely shut out, okay? They have two games on their schedules this year where they're not going to score a single point. Because as you'll know, they're in the same division as the Steelers. And the Steelers' defense is going to be so good, along with their offense, with future Hall of Famer Kenny Pickett, they're going to go off. So I would not, I would highly recommend not drafting anybody this year in fantasy football if they're in the AFC North. I would, I would highly recommend against it. Um, but Cup, not a bad pick, not a bad pick on that one. Brad with the ten, but he says gonna build my team around Kenny Pickett. Thoughts? Hundred percent. That's that's a guaranteed win. If if somebody takes Kenny Pickett ahead of me in our, the ZTT fantasy football draft is tomorrow night, by the way. If somebody takes Kenny Pickett, I'm going to be so pissed. Now, now, granted, I'm taking him in the first. So it would be a bold move for you to take him in the first as well. But I'm that high on him. Yeah, I'll kick you out of the league and the Discord server if you take Kenny Pickett above me. Doug, the gamer dad with the 350 bitties. Says there, I heard someone say they needed about tree fitty. That'll work. He's back in. That's all it takes. It's 100% pay to win over here. Kenny in the first. That's easy pick. That's where are the parts at. Yeah, we we gotta start building. Oh, I said we were gonna do a giveaway, didn't I? All right, let's appease our international viewers. Okay, this one's open to everybody. We're gonna do a $20 Steam gift card giveaway. This one's on me. We're gonna do a $20 Steam gift card giveaway. This can go to absolutely anybody. 
out there. Let me set it up real quickly though. Hold on, I gotta type, I gotta, I gotta type some stuff in. Make sure I don't get sued that it says the wrong thing. All right. Twenty dollar. Oh, oh, keyboard's not working. Here we go. Twenty dollar Steam gift card. This will be to anybody. Don't start. Don't start typing in exclamation point raffle. Twenty dollar Steam gift card. All right. Three minutes. How many bonus tickets for the exclusives though? Last time we did three. I feel like we need to jack that up a little bit. The first answer I see is what we're going to go with. How many extra bonus tickets do the exclusives get? George Pickens is that guy. Now, now George Pickens is he, like, he's actually legit. I, I Don't get me wrong. Pickett is also actually legit too. But Pickens is going to go off, man. Flex your huge arms. Uh, I'm not going to, but I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Stop typing ex exclamation mark raffle. 10? 10 is the first answer. All right, 10 bonus tickets to exclusives. There we go. I, it's not on me, man. $20 Steam gift card. Bada bing. Bada boom. It is now open. You can type in exclamation. Oh, my God. Somebody literally entered like right away. There we go. Exclamation point raffle. $20 Steam gift card. And while we're doing that, let's talk about some Jawa milestones real quickly. Let's go down memory lane while you guys are all typing that. Uh, so here's the timeline if you guys are actually interested in how Jawa came to be. So June 2021 was when the website launched in closed beta. For some reason, I have no idea. I didn't get an invite to the closed beta. Closed beta specifically are invite only. I didn't know Amanda at the time in June 2021, but I'm still a little hurt and embarrassed, honestly, that I wasn't part of that. But yeah, June 2021 is when they launched the closed beta. Rand and his PC sleepers were, was the first ever seller on Jawa. And then in August, just a couple months later, August 2021 was when open beta launched. And a lot of us, like, I, I, I think our community, like, I think we were talking about Jawa in August of 2021. Like, even when Jawa first launched, everybody was talking about it. Uh, that's, that's when they launched with no fees and people were just like hammering out the builds over there in September. Th th that's when they first reached $10,000 in sales on the website. That's awesome. And then the next month no, or two months later, November, 2021, that's what the Oz video came out. So how many people know how big of an impact Oz's video had on Jawa? I don't know if you guys know this or not. I'm sure a lot of people do. But Oz from Oz Talks Hardware, he released a video um, featuring Jawa. And that video got a million views. It just blew up out of nowhere. And that was consistently being like Jawa's top traffic source for months. It wasn't just like the one month of the video. For months and months, uh, that was their top traffic source. So Oz like really, really jump started. Um, a lot of a lot of uh, brand awareness for Jawa, and then the next month, eh, go figure. The next month, December 2021, that's when Jawa reached a hundred thousand dollars in total sales, and they also started adding consoles or selling consoles to the website. February 20 of this year, that's when their Discord server reached five thousand members. July 2022, uh, also this year, the one. Oh my God, a thousandth, the 1,000th PC was listed on Jawa in July of this year. So many builds, that's ridiculous. Uh, Basic Krem with the tier one sub. Thank you very much for the support, much appreciated. And then in August of 2022, $1 million in all-time sales. That milestone was reached last month, which is pretty crazy. And then she has one more note here. September 1st, 2021, the GOAT YouTuber, uh, is streaming the one year anniversary uh, giveaway PC. So we, we don't really need to talk a whole lot about that, but that's cool that she put that as a milestone because that's a pretty big deal, man. It's a pretty big deal. How many people we got live right now? Two and a half million people. Oh, that is a milestone. That is a milestone. That is not too bad. Okay. The giveaway is over. The winner of the $20 Steam gift card giveaway. No matter where you live, 10 extra bonus tickets to uh, exclusives is a noop pie over on YouTube, actually. Over on YouTube, a noop pie. Congrats, man. 
congrats on your 10 or $20 Steam gift card uh, code. Make sure you message me because I'm not going to remember that. I'm not going to remember. Make sure you message me, por favor, uh, and I'll send that over. Or one of the mods will send it over. That's what's up. Okay, now we need to build. Can we build this PC, please? Uh, yeah, congrats. That's big time, man. That's big time. That's what's up. Congrats, dog. Uh, I've been busy. Did I miss the giveaway? You've missed two giveaways so far. Not the main PC giveaway yet. That's not till we till we build it. Uh, painful says hydrate. Damn it in all caps. P painful. You you better watch out, man. That approval rating is dropping every time you type in caps. Just for the record. Uh, here EVB again with the fitted biddies. Thank you very much. Uh, Lamunk, Lamunk with the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Much appreciated. Also, Avalanche with the Twitch Prime sub. You guys are going off. Let's go. So many new people. Please, whatever you do, make sure you link that uh, Twitch account with the Discord account. That we get access. That's what's up. I think I got everybody. Yeah, I think I got them all. How many giveaways are there? There's a good bit, man. We're going to do one more Jawa merch giveaway. We're going to do some Jawa founders, uh, Jawa founder giveaways. And then we're going to do the PC giveaway. Now those of us on Twitch can riot and we can all message ZTT saying thanks for the $20 Steam card. So excited. Send it whenever. Yeah, that's all you got to do, man. I'll, I'll believe it, too. How do you know you've entered the PC giveaway? Uh, you should be able to go to the Gleam website still. I'm not 100% sure on this. But why build so slow? Dude, this is how we do it, man. But we're, we're going extra slow. I will give you that. All right. Uh, you should be able to go to that Gleam website, and it should tell you if you've if you've entered or not. But I have the list. I have the list now. So, all right. So, here's what we're going to do real quickly before we... We, we still got to prep our AIO. What we have to do is, when we originally were planning this build, we were assuming that we could put the 280mm AIO up top, and then just leave all these fans the same. But this, this is not a lot of clearance. I'm not sure if there's any radiator or like radiator, motherboard, and RAM config that would work here. But I'm not even going to attempt it because I don't think it's going to fit. That is very minimal clearance. So what we're going to do is we're going to move our 280 millimeter radiator to the front. And I like it because like I was saying at the beginning of the stream, I don't like all this empty space over here. I think... I didn't know that this is what it looks like when I bought it. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of that. So adding a, a, a beefy radiator to the backside of here, that'll that'll give us a little bit of depth. It's not going to make a huge effect, but that'll help. But it's a 280 millimeter radiator. So these front included fans are 120s. So that's not going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to uninstall these two 120s. We're going to put them up at the top for more exhaust fans and then we are going to use our 140s that we bought extra and put these on the radiator and these will be up at the front. So we're going to do that now. And once that's done, then everything will be pretty much prepped and ready to go. And then we're just playing Legos at that point. Everything will come together pretty quickly. So let's prep our radiator now and install these fractal aspect 14 fans. I only bought these because... That way, all the RGB products are just all the same. The NZXT RGB fans that come with the, the Kraken Z63 are 100% good to go, but I don't want to mix and match fans, so that's why we did it that way. <clears throat> this is going to look great. This is going to be a really, really nice looking build for sure. So this is the AIO, the NZXT Kraken Z63. It's got the it's got the LCD screen on here, so you can make it if you want to put a Jawa logo on there. Whatever you want to do, we're gonna be in this config. It might look backwards to you on camera, but we're gonna be doing it in this config. So we want to install the fans, this, and put the cables on that side, just like that. Yo, Zach, can I have the fans? The NZXT white fans? You know, I don't have a legitimate excuse for not 
giving those away, but it's, I'm, I'm probably not going to go through the effort of sending two fans to somebody. Sorry. <laughs> That's a lot of work. What is your go-to aesthetic color scheme, Zach? Go-to? <sighs> I would say my go-to is white, red, and black. The ZTT colors, it's it's probably the it's probably the goat color scheme. But I'm really digging white and like purple right now. That looks so good. White and teal. That looks really oh no, wrong way. Oh wait, oh no, I don't actually want to install it like that. Oh uh, wait, we're gonna put are we gonna put these in a push? I didn't actually plan this properly. Uh how do we want these fans to be? Yeah, we're gonna put the fan. We're gonna put this in a push config. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. But we're gonna install the radiator on the back side of. Yeah, we're gonna do the the tough. The tough way of doing this. Okay. All right, we're gonna put these in a a push config, so it's not actually gonna be like this. We're gonna install this bad boy gonna be like that and then they're gonna be like this okay so we need to get the case out immediately uh, we can't really prep this RGB is overrated so I don't think yeah because we're doing it this way with the the front panel I'm, I'm just thinking live here we are we're not gonna install this right away we'll save this we'll save this there's nothing else to prep because we can't install the fans onto the radiator just yet. So that won't work. Okay. Let's take these let's take these front fans out now. That we can do. That we can do. <sighs> Where'd my mouse go? Why not have a, or uh, I missed that message. No RGB means faster PC. I just dis disagree completely. All right, so how does this pop off? I don't know how this works at all. Do we get to take this compartment off? Are these screwed in here? How does this work? Okay, that just pops off like that. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to uninstall these 120s, like I said, and we're gonna move them to the back because we're gonna do we're gonna put the the 280 AIO in the front. How do you get your extensions from Amazon or the Asia? Oh, do you get your extensions from Amazon or the Asia Horse website? Uh, just Amazon. The thing about Amazon though is when you type in Asia Horse extensions, it's only gonna show you the six cable uh, option for like 26, 27 dollars. You have to click on that and then go to the Asia Horse store. And if you want to get the more budget option, the four, the four cable option, uh, that doesn't show up in search result for whatever reason. So if you, and that one only costs like $21. So if you want to just get the cheaper one, just go to the Asia Horse store on Amazon. But yeah, I just buy them from Amazon. However, I was supposed to do a bulk order deal with K Mariotti, like from Asia Horse uh, warehouse directly. But he never gave me my my extensions, so I think he just kept them all for himself. I'm not sure. Any fans on top? Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. We're moving we're moving the included 120s to the top because we're gonna put the 140s and the 280 radiator in the front. Yeah, we're just we're just switching up this base config real quick. Racing Strikes makes your car faster. Obviously, RGB makes your PC faster. Yeah, I mean, that, that that's the only logical explanation. For sure. Who is the best fantasy player in the league? Not you. Uh, that's a good question. So, RWC won one year. Fire Guide, rest in peace, won one year. And 
Somebody that's not like a huge big time member of the community one last year. Networks, I think his name was. So I don't know. Nobody is nobody is super dominant in the in the ZTT fantasy league. No one's like I'm not scared of anybody in the fantasy league. Just trying to get these fans out of here real quickly. They are severely cable managed throughout the build already. So unfortunately we gotta undo all of Fractal Design's work on this and get them out of here. All white PC equals more performance. Yeah, I mean, all white has definitely been one of my go-to color schemes as well. Especially, so I mentioned this in an upcoming Flippin' Friday episode, but the Asus Dual GTX 1060. I think there's both a three gigabyte and a uh, six gigabyte model, but it's the all white GTX 1060 that you see a lot on used marketplaces like Jawa, Mercari, eBay, and all that. That's like my favorite graphics card right now because it allows you to readily available, easily build 400 to 500 dollar all white pcs not just a white pc with like a black graphics card but a truly all white gaming pc on a really really tight budget so i've been really enjoying that i want to buy a couple more to experiment see what i can do with uh like super budget prices trying to still hit um uh like budget build totals that are still all white which is pretty tough to do but yeah, I'm definitely a fan of just all white designs as well, for sure. You should scrap the case and use a 2000 gateway desktop case. Don't think we're gonna do that, man. Thanks for the suggestion. I'm surprised someone could drool over computers like this. I'm such a nerd. I mean, everyone has their own Everyone's got their own hobbies, man. Like this is what this is what car people do, you know. They drool over custom custom built. Like they they call their cars custom builds that they build from the ground up. They call them custom builds. It's just a different, just a different um product to be building. Zach, you gotta team up team up with Rand Rand and make a flip or a you say a flip or a sleeper? Yeah. A sl a flipper? Do you mean a sleeper? So I've, I've never been high on sleepers. And you can probably guess. Like, I feel like that shouldn't be a shock. Like, I like my builds to look good. Like, almost all of my budget builds are opposite sleepers. They look better than, what, than how they perform. <laughs> like, I, I've never... I, I, I completely get why people build sleepers, and I think that's cool that people do like having a PC that looks like old trash, but it's got some serious performance in, the, in there. Like, I understand that some people are into that, but that's, like, literally the exact opposite thing that I'm personally into. I would... I'm, I'm aesthetics over everything. I would, I would rather pay a little bit more of my budget towards aesthetics and enjoy looking at my build on my desk every single day. Uh, and getting a few less FPS numbers than the opposite, you know? So I I just, I've never built a sleeper. I don't really intend to. Uh, the only reason I would is if it, if it is for like a collab or some type of special project or something. But I'm not just going to like randomly build a sleeper. That's not my style. I want a sleeper so it doesn't get stolen. Yeah, so yeah, that's just... Fortunately, that's just not something that like I worry about. I don't think I'm not too worried about that. So the airflow must be terrible. A lot of sleepers have bad airflow for sure. I live in a small town full of field guys. They talk football and cars. I'm like, yeah, guys, I bought a new two terabyte SSD. <laughs> I've definitely been there, ma'am. I don't. I, I've been there for many years. When when I, when I was in the Air Force for the first five years or so, uh, 
before I was able to trans transfer to a cybersecurity position, I was in maintenance. Uh, specifically, I worked avionics on airplanes. So I worked on like the ele electronic devices or the computers on airplanes. But most of the people in that career field are like hardcore mechanics. Like they all build their own cars, do all of their own car maintenance, and just they know how to turn a wrench. So I, I lived that life big time, man. I was the only one that knew anything remotely about <laughs> like consumer technology at all. I was always the, pe the, the guy helping everybody uh, do that. So I definitely know where you're at on that. Okay, so we successfully moved our fans. Now we have three exhaust 120 millimeter RGB fans there. And then that's going to leave us room for the AIO to go up at the front with the 140s. So that is looking pretty, pretty good. Now we can finally start installing our motherboard and actually making some legit progress on this build. Small town, West Texas. I have converted a few though. Nice. Oh my God, that beer just splashed in my eye. How does that happen? Hey Zach, what do you think about the LTT screwdriver? I saw he released a 29 minute video about it and I don't, can somebody tell me if that commitment is worth it? Just, I'm a dad. I'm about to be a, a single dad for the next six months because my wife is leaving for six months uh, on a military trip. So in a couple days, I'm going to be a single dad, kind of, you know what I mean? Uh, and I run my own business and have employees. I'm, what I'm trying to say is I'm busy. Is it worth the commitment of a 29 minute video about a screwdriver worth really? I don't know, man. How much is it? I don't even know how much it is. I don't even know how much it is. It like. I've seen him, I've seen him over the last couple years use their prototypes and whatnot. It looks cool. You can skip it. Yeah, house dad? No, farthest thing from a house. Well, kind of. I'll be a little bit of a house dad. Uh, our almost three-year-old, uh, he'll be in daycare for a couple days a week. So that that's when I can work. But other than that, yeah, I will be a house dad. $70? What? It's just one ratcheting screwdriver? That's it? No, is it really? Wow, we might. Oh, I. Oh, I. Oh, I won it now. Oh, I instantly won it now. Is it really? Is it? It's just. one is it a kit or just? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm. I'm, I'm so interested in this now. It's one ratcheting screwdriver, right? It's not like a kit of different sizes and whatnot. It's just a single ratcheting screwdriver for seventy dollars. The bits, yeah, I, I know it has bits. Oh my god! I oh, I'm buying it. Oh, I'm 100% buying it. I'm gonna review it. I bought two. <laughs> I'm 100% buying that. Is do you have? Is it on like? Is it reserved now? Are they on back order? I'll let you know how it goes. Zach, keep in mind some of the drivers they're competing with are over a hundred dollars. One screwdriver, 12 bits. Oh my god! <laughs> you have never bought a high-end screwdriver, did you? $70? Oh my goodness. I want to see what that thing can do. That's ridiculous. That's the difference of 3060 to a 3060 Ti. Sometimes less than that. Like that 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 is the next step of a graphics card. That is a lot of money. And the graphics card only has two screws and you can get away with just installing one. That's ridiculous. $70? Oh my goodness. I didn't know that they were... Oh, oh my god. I want it. I want it so bad. You can buy a nice kit with a bunch of bits. I, I bought this kit that is specifically red and black. This thing was like 30 bucks. And this came with two. This came with all the bits for two screwdrivers. Look how aesthetic this is. Red and black matches the color scheme of, of the channel perfectly. Have a, this is like 30 bucks. Look at this. Look at all these bits. This is way more than 12 bits. It's even got a 90. Look, look at this. Look at this. 
Oh my goodness, $70. Check this out. Can his do this? Look, watch this. 90 degrees. And it's ratcheting. 90 degrees. It was like $30. That's ridiculous. Are you serious? That's wild. Aesthetics even on his tools? Of course, man. Aesthetics over everything. I, I literally bought these for the aesthetics. I'm not... That's no cap on that one. <sighs> My kid got me a $20 screwdriver. I thought I was balling. <laughs> I mean, I'd be pumped. Put a link for it. I should. I should. I should rock the affiliate links. Okay. All right. All right. You guys ready to start building? This is taking a while. All right. Here we go. So we bought this used from somebody on Jawa, and the only thing that was included was the IO shield. So let's get that on there. Maybe. There we go. It's all about the iFixit kits. No, those are way too expensive, man. I wouldn't buy that. <clears throat> Probably shouldn't say that while I'm live because someone's going to clip me whenever they become a channel sponsor. And <sighs> Well, that ship has sailed. Sorry, I fix it. Someone will definitely find that clip at some point. 100%. All right. Let's get some screws out here. Oh, boy. Did it come with motherboard screws? Did it really not? Oh, my God. We only have three motherboard screws. That's going to have to work, but jeez. That's ridiculous. It didn't come with motherboard screws. What? These are the only screws we got. I don't even know what this is for. What are these? Anybody know? Oh, maybe that is for the motherboard. Oh, maybe it is actually. Hold on. Nobody panic just yet. Maybe that is for the motherboard. Yeah, no, I, for I forgot to... Can somebody please... Can, can one of the mods please... Please remind me to buy motherboard screws. Or not not buy. Uh, bring them from the studio. Okay, so that, w that was the one screw that this case came with. These are really bizarre motherboard screws. Check this out. I've never seen this before. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera. That's the motherboard screw. Look how, look how big the head i don't know if that's what you call it yeah screw head it's massive look check this out this is this is a normal motherboard screw i don't know why they think that this is necessary but whatever this is a normal motherboard screw look how big that is okay that's fine i'll use it whatever no m.2 screws are way smaller than that yours has those I've never seen these before. I mean, I'm okay with it. <clears throat> Didn't painful trying to remind you? I, I don't think so, man. But either way, please remind me. Just, just, if somebody could just type that in the chat now and ping me, that would be much appreciated. Because, ooh, look how difficult that's going to be. Yeah, this, yeah, okay. a radiator would not have worked at all. Look at the clearance. I can barely fit my finger in there. The radiator is thicker than my finger. But I don't know how I'm going to plug in that 8-pin. Even that looks ridiculous. This is not a good layout, Fractal. I'm disappointed. I'm actually disappointed in this. Sorry, now you're going to see my, my bald spot up there. That's not a good layout. That, that, that's not enough clearance, man. That's, that's objectively not enough clearance. My screwdriver can't even get back here. Maybe the LTT one can. I mean, for $70, it, it better be screwing the screws in by itself. Okay, here we go. Motherboard's installed. Let's start plugging in some case connectors. And actually making some progress on this. This is why you had top fans after screwing them up. Yeah, I mean, that's always a 100% that's that's valid every single time. I just never do it. I like to get the fans out of the way first, and it sometimes bites me in the butt like this. What's the value of the PC? So we paid 
1500 for it, but $1,500 for a 12600K and 36 TTI, that, that's, that's objectively not great price to performance. We spent a ton of money on the aesthetics on this one. The AIO is like 250. We got the extra fractal design fans. We got the cable extensions. Um, we paid a little extra money on the aesthetics for this one, but that, I mean, that's perfectly fine. Okay. This is going to be a banger build. This is going to look nice for sure. All right. So what, what do we want to plug in first? Let's find where our USB 3.0 is. Bottom. Bottom and side. Let's go bottom. I like going bottom for USB 3.0. How do I join the giveaway? We're, we're doing random giveaways throughout the night, but the giveaway for the PC build itself is already... Uh, the the entries are closed. It was a Jawa giveaway. They've been advertising it for like a month now. I've mentioned it a couple times here on the stream. Uh, the giveaway is already closed. What do you think about the 7000 series CPUs? So I, I've answered this already. Uh, but if you missed it, it's just in, in a real quick nutshell, like I'm glad that we're getting new CPUs, like of course, like things are just gonna continue getting better and better, but nothing out of the, like no CPU out of those four is going to change any of my parts list. Uh, just because the pricing doesn't make sense. A $300 Ryzen 5 paired with mandatory DDR5 motherboard and a brand new platforms motherboard is going to be super expensive. So even with the 7600, I'm just not going to be buying that, you know. Um, the only reason I'll, I, I will buy it is just to get my hands on new tech. I want to build a Ryzen 7000 series CPU for either the channel or Thirsty Thursday here. But it's just it's for PC flippers, especially if you're like more towards the budget to mid range style of flipper. It's just it's not it's. Those CPUs are not going to change anything right now, uh, which is, which is definitely unfortunate. Kind of sucks. All right, I'm just going to do some cable management real quick, just to kind of. And they don't come with stock coolers anymore. Like, the the biggest meta issue that I have is. Ryzen is definitely losing its identity right now. They're gunning for Intel at the top end, which Ryzen first gen, especially Ryzen second and third gen, it was all catering to budget to mid-range gamers. Like they had, they had some good high ends, but Intel always still had a leg up on the super high end stuff. Now they're changing their identity and they're going for the, the highest of the high end to compete with the 12900K, the 13900K, etc. And it's unfortunate because like nothing was exciting for budget gamers. You know, we probably won't see a Ryzen 3 for a significant amount of time, which is which is normal. Like GPUs and CPUs, they never launch their budget stuff right away. That's normal. But a $300 5600X or 7600X, like they're going in the wrong direction in my opinion. I'm not happy about it. <clears throat> yeah, you can type in exclamation point uh, build to see the whole parts list. Omnius Medic with 10 bitty six minutes ago. Sorry, I missed it. It's okay. I'll let you borrow my iFixit kit, man. Veterans got to stick together. If you let me borrow it, I'll, te I'll test it out. I'll, I'll test it out. I'm not above testing it out. Uh, the Uber Nugget says, uh, with the 10 bitty says, you got to get the FU bit set because it has the proprietary Nintendo bits. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, but thank you for the 10 biddies. They may come out with the 5300X or something. 7300X, you mean? Yeah, it's just like... I, 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 don't get me wrong. Like, it's good. IPC improvements. Although the IPC... Imp 
I'll, 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 never mind. My, my take is not going to be positive. They were saying the IPC gains were like 11%, right? Something like that. Like the... I forget which, car, the, which chips they compared to. But they were comparing from Intel 5000 series to 7000 series. And they were getting like 12, 11 to 12% better. Now you got to remember. If during a press conference, AMD is saying a 12% increase. That means in the absolute best case scenario with the best tune variables to help the argument in one game. They got a 12% increase. Why are people excited? Like, <laughs> that's not a big deal. I expect that. <laughs> we used to rag on Intel every single every single generation launch for doing that. Like, 12% gain? Okay, okay. like, I get that. I, I, I get that that happens, but... No, 11% better IPC, but I think they were still comparing FPS numbers when I when I saw the 11%. Yeah, it's just it's it's not like it's not huge, it's not huge. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe was that just IPC, and then they also have the core clock uh, speed increase as well, because the core clocks are way faster. Uh, but either way, e either way, either way. Like, let's not lose sight of the fact that we're still not getting anything remotely close to budget options. And I don't like the, the direction of what they're targeting on the high end, because that's not what that's not what made Ryzen so good when Ryzen launched. A lot of people, a lot of these new people, sorry, one more tangent, and then we're going to build. A lot of these new people, like jumping into the PC building space, they weren't around. How many people were around? Not around, not alive. How many people were actively building PCs? Type a one in chat. If you were actively building a PC before, or multiple PCs, before Ryzen first generation, if you were actively building like your personal builds or flipping even before Ryzen first generation, how many people were actually here? Most people weren't because most people don't comprehend what it was like when intel absolutely dominated and you wouldn't even consider amd unless if you got like an fx cpu for like stupid cheap and even then you were still debating i probably should be with intel a couple of people mark g tech you know sean uh, not even seaner yeah like people don't, people don't remember that so like people's i like the reason why i'm asking that is because i want nothing more than to keep competition. I don't want it to go back to the point where it's only one uh, CPU brand that you gotta go with. Because it was a very real thing. It's pro I, I don't know, because I'm not in this situation, but I would have to imagine that people that are new to building PCs, they can't comprehend that there was a time when you only went with one CPU manufacturer. They they can't comprehend that, you know? Because we've had good competition uh, for, I don't know how long it's been, like six, six years now or so. They probably can't even comprehend how much Intel dominated. And I'm just, I'm rooting for Ryzen to not make mistakes because I don't want them to, uh, like get, get overthrown by Intel. You know what I mean? That, that That's the only thing I want. I want good competition. And I, and I don't think AMD delivered. Back when water cooling was a trip to the pet store? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. First build was an AMD Sempron. Well, Sempron had some good products. Especially when Sempron was a little bit older and you could buy them used. Eh, it made sense in a couple budget builds. Never owned a PC? Only had Max? Guys, I gotta build. I gotta build. Okay. So... Our motherboard is in. All of our case. Shout out to anybody that's still here, by the way. <laughs> Waiting on the giveaway winner. We're, should we should we speed should we speed build the rest of this? Should should we get going? Give away a keycap. Dang it! All right, we'll give away one keycap and then we'll speed build. We'll give away a keycap. All right. It's not my fault. Whoever said that, it's your fault. All right, we'll do one. We'll do one more keycap giveaway. 
and then and then we'll speed build the rest of this because we, we gotta get this going where are we at two and a half hours this is ridiculous best get going yeah y'all got 40 minutes to my fantasy draft all right so here's the deal this is what we need to give away next where's the link this is the next thing we need to give away all right so this is from we already showed this a little bit earlier this is from uh Maharley caps Maharley caps here you go we're gonna give away these Jawa founder uh, keycaps up here so we got the the badge and the logo in the one now you can only win this if you are a Jawa founder and I have the list there's like 139 of you um, so I'm just going to do a random number generator and give it to one of you guys. Okay. I don't even know if you're going to be in the chat or not. Hopefully you are, but I have no idea. I don't, I can't find a way to, to give it away to one of the 139 of you that are here. So here is the RNG. Hold on. Let me get the, the list out. Okay. Here we go. This is for the keycap. One out of 139. Bada bing, bada boom. We got number 39. And number 39 is, this is the list of, uh, what's it called? Jawbot Founders, Drebler Builds. Let's go. I don't know if Drebler Builds is here, but Drebler Builds has been featured multiple times on Zach's Friday feature, my newsletter for Jawa, where I write about their builds. Congrats, Drebler. You are the winner of the keycap let's go nice work nice work gg drebbler can we spam exclamation point raffle no we're not doing that <laughs> all right let, let, let's let's build this let's let's get this done we're, we're actually almost done we don't have a ton of extra work to do we we prepped everything we don't have a lot a lot of extra steps as soon as we get this power supply in, let me zoom out a little bit. Oop. As soon as we get this power supply installed, we'll be in we'll be in good shape. Alright. Put this down here. If you guys are new, we're putting the vent on the bottom. That way it can intake some somewhat fresh air underneath the PC. Slide that in. One of the most painful processes sometimes. And wow, this clearance is really... Was I supposed to go through the back? No. Wow. Yeah, that was a tough, tough squeeze right there. But sometimes it's just what you got to do. We're going to get some screws in the back here. At least I have the Jawa one-year pin. Yeah, we're going to be giving away the pin next. There is pins. Wow, I gotta re-up on those screws too. Can somebody please? I need a moderator to please remind me. I need those screws as well. The standard power supply screws. I have no screws here at home. I am running low on screws. I keep forgetting to restock. I bought the pins, nice. Keeps coming through for you, boy. Dude. I don't need keeps. All right, this this bald spot's a ten out of ten. Where are we at on the bald spot? How how big is the bald spot looking out of ten? Ten being bald. I mean, if you say anything more than like a point three, then you're blind. And that th this is pre keeps, mind you. This is pre keeps. I'm wearing the Jawa pin right now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there we go. Always repping. AR, always rep them. It's huge out of 10. 3, 11, negative 2. You're bald free, my dude. That's what I'm saying, man. I, th I think, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad. My, my dad had a massive circle bald spot on the top, like back of his head. Like, you couldn't see it from the front at all, so, like, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. Like, it wasn't, like, a receding hairline. But he had a huge, huge bald spot in the back. But I gotta imagine being 30 years old 
if I was going to get a massive bald spot like that, like it would have been creeping out already at this point. Thankfully, it's not. So I think, I think we might be in the clear, honestly. I think we're sitting solid. I think we're sitting pretty solid. Nothing a little hair in a can can't fix. That's true. The bald spot is growing by the second. You could cover it with extra screws, but you're already low. <laughs> Doug the Gamer Dad. I don't know how I feel about you. You know, like, you you seem to be, like, somewhat witty. You know, you're throwing some, some biddies my way. And when I got upset with you, you threw even more biddies my way, which is, like, that's the way to do it. But I don't know, man. I, I'm not sold. I'm not sold on if we should keep him in the exclusives or not. Does anybody want to throw out any approval ratings of uh, Doug the Gamer Dad from today? Like, where, where are you guys at on Doug the Gamer Dad? Where, where's, where's the approval rating for him? Should we keep him? Should we keep him? I, I, I don't know. I'm a little torn. I'm a little torn on that one so far. 99? I like Doug. Keep him. Is he a keep? 100? 69 out of 10? Wow. Fan favorite. Although, I will kill, says zero. Might be some hidden beef. That, that story may be developing over time. Zero out of 10. VGS is a cool guy. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about him yet. We will, we will have to see. My, 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 my review is still pending. Keep him. Nine out of ten. Drinking a ginger beer because I'm not legal yet. That's all right. That's fine. That'll get the job done. That'll get the job done. Doug the gamer died with the six and nine biddies. Okay. Like when you do stuff like that, like that'll work. That'll work. It's classy. I say Doug the Gamer Dad smart. He knows bits will keep him around. It, that is very sharp. That's extremely sharp. The right amount of bits, too. Do you dislike money, Zach? No, I love money, man. What are you talking about? What would lead you to believe that I dislike money? I love money. You drink one ginger beer a day, Shauna? Do you really? Wow. I, I like just learned what a, a ginger beer was like last year. Probably on the live stream. You guys teach me a lot. Except painful. Painful is always constantly steering me the wrong direction. Other than that, I, I learned a lot. Is it still going? Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> We're not giving away the PC until it's built. We got a long way to go. Two and a half hours in. Not bad. <laughs> just gonna oh you guys aren't even watching just gonna plug in the SATA power for the case RGB and then we'll stuff that back there we don't need that yeah I'm sorry I, I <laughs> had the wrong camera camera angle up on that one my bad hey Zach love your vids thank you thank you very much All right, stuffing that away. We'll feed our eight pin for the graphics card up through here. Not a double eight pin like Painful said it was. Painful Tempity says, got to keep things interesting. It's interesting enough when I don't know what I'm doing. Like, there's already a ton of suspense. Like, is this PC even going to have a chance at being built? That's the suspense enough. I don't need fake news. I'm, I'm avidly against fake news, especially when it comes from people that I'm paying millions of dollars to. All right. Oof. So I really like the front storage compartment, but it keeps coming out, which is annoying when building. But I should just leave it out. Not a big fan on that one. All right. Making some progress here. This build's going to look so good. Got our 24 pin plugged in. I don't think we're going to be able to get this 8 pin in, but we're going to attempt it to see if we get lucky without uninstalling. Uh, no, I might be able to get this, actually, without uninstalling that fan. 
I think I can get lucky and get this. You're gonna see the bald spot though, sorry. But I think I can do this. Maybe. Might have spoke too soon. Let's see. Oh, oh, got it. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, the eight pin is installed. And then we'll just wrap that around there like that. That doesn't look super bad. And then we have our eight pin right here for the graphics card. And we're just gonna do a little bit of brief cable management on that. Because we definitely wanna pull this tight. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the 24 pin up here, honestly. Cause that, that should look that should look pretty clean like that. Let's let's double check and verify that that looks okay. Yep, 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 clean. Ultra clean on that one, okay. That looks good. Color scheme is coming through as you guys can see. That's looking pretty good. That's looking good up there. Okay, let's start getting this a little bit organized here. All right. Dare I say we're making some progress. Okay. I built my PC for $60. What? That's pretty impressive. Doug, the gamer dad with the 10 he says, I'm honestly surprised there's no red highlights on any of the components. Some red cable extensions with the motherboard with black and red along with the GPU with some sort of red on it. Would have been perfect ZTT color. I, I, like I was saying earlier, I do really like the aesthetic of white, red, and black. Uh, but I just, I wasn't going for that in this build. This is supposed to be white and black as white as possible um but realistically it's gonna be a white and black build but it's gonna look good i built my first first pc for 175 first pc was a gtx 970 and a 2600k and 16 gigs of ram it's a good combo i don't know if that's a bottleneck but that's probably okay can't wait to build my own pc one day looks pretty fun uh it is fun it is indeed fun. Okay, yeah, that, like that looks good. We we can we can cable manage this a little bit later because we have those cables. We're gonna have the fans. Uh, let's let's get a radiator in here. We're almost okay. That that the compartment's gotta go for right now. Let's get the radiator installed, shall we? All right, here's where things get a little tricky. Little tricky. So we're gonna put the radiator up front like this. Now, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the pump isn't the high point. And thankfully, it won't be, so we're good. Okay, this is the route that it's going to take. Like, oh my god, that looks so good already. Woo! That's looking clean. Let's go. Damn, that's solid. All right. So, little trick. I've explained this multiple times before. But what we're going to do is we can install the fans on this side of the, the case's front panel. And the radiator is going to be on the back side of it. So what a lot of people do for your first AIO is install is they try to use one of the long screws and get this through the fan, through the front panel, into the radiator. But that is how amateurs do it. Now... Granted, that's the correct way to do it. But the way that you can cheat is, this is how I install this all the time, is I'm gonna take a small screw here and I'm just gonna mount two screws of the radiator directly to the front panel. And then that way my radiator is somewhat, for the most part, lined up with the case. So now when I go to install my front fans. Now I am two screw holes down, but this for security purposes, I think it's perfectly fine. It'll be much easier for me to line up and then get these longer screws in here. I would highly recommend you do that. I'm sure like super enthusiasts are gonna tell you that you shouldn't do that, um, but that, that that's how I've been doing it for years. It's definitely the, definitely the little trick because it can be somewhat difficult, especially if it's your first time uh, installing components like that to use those long screws right off the bat and try to line everything up on the first screw. Things usually go wrong during that. So little trick. And the, the, the downside is like this first front pan fan. It only has three screws 
attached to the case as opposed to four, but it's perfectly fine. Let's be honest, it's perfectly fine. There we go. So that's already on there. And then we'll do the next one. Payful Timothy says, wait, why not do both of the inside to fill more room? Uh, because of the RGBs, I don't want to impede that. I, I, it's for aesthetics. You could, you could to, to fill it up even more, but I feel like RGBs, it would, it would minimize the effect a little bit. I, I think it would look weird with the RGB fans that far back. I was thinking about that too. Hustle with the tier one resub. Come back for two months in a row now. Thank you very much, Hustle. Glad to have you here, man. That's actually a good trick. I used to assemble tabletops for restaurants, and we did something similar to make sure the tables didn't wobble. Yeah. I got a 360 millimeter as my first AIO. By far the most frustrating thing I've done on a PC to date. I, I, I vividly remember getting frustrated uh, trying to get all these screws to mount. Because you're holding the radiator up against the case... And you're trying to move the fans and screw the... Like, you need three hands to do it. Uh, I, I vividly remember not knowing that trick. Uh, and getting frustrated by that. So this is definitely way easier. And now, with very minimal effort, our radiator is installed and good to go. That's it. That's all it takes. That is all it takes. Right. Boom. So I think the only thing we'll need left for the radiator is or are these thumb screws. And this is just going to go right on top of the the pump uh, mounting bracket. And then the AIO is pretty much done other than cable managing in the back. So we'll move this along here. Oh, uh, connect all cables. Oh, wait, never mind. Before turning on. I do want to connect the these cables first. Just because those could be a little bit difficult once it's installed. Yeah, we're, we're going to announce the giveaway as soon as we turn the PC on. And honestly, we're almost done. Not, not too much longer. You can type in exclamation point build to see the full parts list. Uh, but the graphics card is a MSI Ventus 2X RTX 3060 Ti. Looking good so far? Yeah, it's looking really good so far, actually. All right, so this is for the Kraken Z63. These are the cables that are going to go on the pump. It's got a huge rat's nest, which is the one downside of a setup like this. So we have this big cable bundle. That's going to go here into the pump. Maybe. I think I did that right. Don't want to bend these pins. There we go. And then that is going to plug into things like the fan header, which this one could be difficult with those top fans installed. This one could be real difficult, but I think I can get lucky again. I think I can get lucky trying to install this. Maybe. Yep, give it to me. There we go. And then everything else will be routed behind. These are for the NZXC RGB fans if we wanted to. Or I guess just any PWM fan. That's for the RGB. And then SATA power, which we still will need. We'll route that after the fact. And then we also need the USB or the micro USB connection. This is what allows the AIO to connect to nzxt's cam software this is just a micro usb cable that plugs right here into the pump and then we'll route that back and around to a usb 2.0 header on our motherboard so it can talk to the software like that so that's what it's going to look like just like that we're just going to use the pre-installed thermal paste on there why not and then we'll just place it on here and then use our thumb screws 
for our LGA 1700 bracket. And we'll be good to go. Then the AIO is installed other than cable management. Spray painting combs is not great. Yes, yeah, somebody gave the idea the other day of custom 3D printing cable combs. And then you could do whatever color scheme you want with some paint or just if you print them the correct color. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be really cool, actually. You guys can still enter the PC if you have a DeLorean, a flux capacitor, and 88 miles per hour. True. Very true. We are going to do one more random giveaway tonight. Uh, but yeah, the giveaway for the PC is closed. It was open for a whole month. Uh, but we, oh, we are going to be announcing the winner tonight. As soon as this PC is built. Oh yeah, I always forget. this. That cable connector is always in the way. So you can install that screw first. I always forget that on the Kraken. Always, always, always. All right, that's all nice and tight. We'll reinstall that USB, micro USB connector, right like that. And now we want to cable manage this. So I'm gonna route all of those cables out the top here, up here, and then get them all behind the motherboard real quickly. So how many people here are actively involved in fantasy football? We do our annual ZTT fantasy football draft, and I know all of those people are in it. They've Most of them have been in it for every year. This is our fourth year. But how many other people in our community do we have that are avid fantasy football players? Do we have a lot in our community? Nope, says the Uber Naga. Do we have a good bit or no? I entered a bit ago. I would love to have more fantasy football talk. We're going to be we're going to be talking about fantasy football a lot during this upcoming season. Sports betting we will even uh briefly mention a couple times we got a new uh, sports betting uh channel sponsor coming to the channel very soon which I'm really excited about because that's something that like I always do every single year um, yeah it should be fun queuing my draft now I won my work league two seasons ago and I'm trying to go back to back nice alright we can install the, that USB 2.0 connector which I know you guys can't really see but I'm just going to plug that in real quickly like that we also have some more SATA power, which I'll route the SATA power down this way. Yeah, I was, gonna, I, I was questioning that, Shauner, when you said you won it two years ago and you're trying to go back to back, but 20 hours to go, can't wait. 20 hours till the ZTT fantasy draft it should be a lot of fun every year we hop into the the discord voice channels uh while we do our live draft and we just mostly just talk smack to each other and it's a ton of fun i really like it all right where are we at here we got a ton of, okay so that's all done the the aio is good other than the fans and i don't think we have anything left to do other than RGB products. This is what the build's looking like so far. It's gonna be good, man. This is gonna be nice. This is gonna be real nice. Whoo! That's looking clean already. But we gotta take care of all of these RGB products, which is definitely 
Definitely not going to be fun because we have a ton of them. I'm going to figure out the best plan of action here. Looking clean. I'm still trying to talk my way out of work so I can uh, auto draft. Oh, I thought you were, I thought you had already had that taken care of. Oh, Doug, the gamer dad with 10 bitty says fantasy football is American sports. D and D exactly. Yeah. hundred percent. It is a very nerdy, uh, game that people that are into football play for sure. It's, it's ultra nerdy. I'm like looking at numbers all season. Just looking at numbers, trying to make good predictions. It's, yeah, it's a hundred percent. I've never played D and D, but I'm pretty sure that that's a accurate reference. This, this, this part's going to be pretty tedious. Sheesh. You guys like how the build's looking so far? Yeah, it's looking it's looking good. No doubt. All right. We're just we're going to try and get organized here for a little bit. Let's get our front panel on. Cuz we are done with all that stuff. I think hopefully cuz I'm already routing these cables through boom there we go and see this is what i was talking about painful that looks a lot better i think this would look weird with these front mesh if those fans were sitting behind that front um that front panel i don't, I don't know if that would have looked good so that's why i kept it like that okay so we have this is this is this is where things are going to be a mess. The cable management wasn't too bad, but now it's going to be awful. We have three pin ARGB and the three port non PWM power cable for those two fans up at the front, and then all three fans up at the top. So that's where things are not going to be fun. Okay. There's going to be a lot of daisy chaining on this one. A lot of daisy chaining. Back from the shower, did I miss the pin giveaway? No, we're still, we still got the pin giveaway to do. Okay, so we have that. For the rear. That can just go up and around. Here, that's the rear fans. And then... Maybe those cross over to here to these. These are the two for the AIO. This is going to be so ugly. Oh, my God. Okay. We're just here. Here's the strategy. Sometimes you just got to go for it. So we're just going to start plugging in RGB products right now. And we'll worry about the cable management a little bit later. So let's just start. Let's just start with RGBs. We're going to daisy chain that back one. This is going to be bad. We're going to daisy chain that back one to one of the AIO ones. And then one of these AIO ones is going to daisy chain to the other AIO one. Like that. And then that AIO fan is going to daisy chain to one of the front fans. Hopefully this channel can take five. Like that. And then this one, the front fan, is going to daisy chain to. Oops. Oh my god, I just unplugged it. I don't want to drop it though. Like that. This one goes here. Like this. Boom. And then this one needs to reach all the way up there. So we don't quite have enough room. What does daisy chain mean? So some products allow, not all, some allow for the, the term daisy chaining, which means you connect the products together instead of directly to the power source or whatever the source is. So in this case, RGB. So I'm essentially all, we have five RGB fans in here. I'm connecting one fan to another, to another, to another, to another. And then just this last fan, is connecting up to the top here to the cases 
three pin ARGB connector. That way I can use the button up here. So daisy chaining means instead of connecting all five individually to a motherboard or a case connector or something like that, they're just all daisy chained. Now, we can also do, I'm not sure if we can get five, but we can try. We can also daisy chain not just the RGB, but we can daisy chain the actual power to the fans as well. So we'll just take the same exact path. We'll daisy chain this rear fan to one of our AIO fans. And then that AIO fan will go to this AIO fan. And then that one will go towards the front fan over here. And then that front fan will connect to this front fan. And then this final front fan just needs to be plugged into the motherboard, which I'll find a port for right now. Yeah, that, that, that's what daisy chaining means. <clears throat> so hopefully we have a port on this side, which we do, thankfully. So we should just be able to plug essentially one fan connector on the motherboard, and that should hopefully power all five. Now the problem with daisy chaining is there's no like real specific uh, tolerances for how many devices you can daisy chain. It all depends on the different products, the, the ports on motherboards or cases or whatnot. It's not like a super standardized thing. So sometimes you can only daisy chain three RGB products together. Sometimes you can only daisy chain three fans together. It, it, it's always it's always changing uh, or not changing. It's just always different. So kind of got a guess. So if, if, if some of these RGB products don't work, then that means we have to kind of divvy up the RGB chains uh, and make it less daisy chain and more of a direct connection. That's all it is. No, it's not it's not too difficult. But I think that's it. I think that's all of our connections. The cable management looks awful. We can clean that up a little bit. Um, but I'm more interested in... Let's see if it all plugs in. Let's see if it all turns on. Look at those removable punch outs on the IO cover for the, I, I saw that. I saw that. I was surprised he didn't say anything whenever I was using that IO shield. <laughs> I know. Too bad we're not going to be taking advantage of that. Keep up the fire AF flipping Fridays for us flippers. Wow. That's very witty. Zach, if I won this PC, I would not care about the cables because I'll be happy to have a good PC. All right, well, let's just turn it on then. <laughs> <laughs> Let I I don't want to cable manage any of that until we ensure that it works because I have no idea how many daisy chains we can get um, in there. So let's just clean up. Of course, we want to cable manage the front. We want to make the front look clean. Let's remove our rear brackets here so we can get our graphics card on here and we'll see what it looks like. If you guys are all, or all, to all of you that are following, coming over from the Jawa community and whatnot, thank you guys very much for following here on Twitch. We've gotten hundreds, hundreds of new followers today. Much appreciated. So here's our graphics card. Once again, the MSI Ventus 2X RTX 3060 Ti. And we do have a custom backplate from GTEC that we'll put on later. There we go. And let's just make sure that all of these RTB products work before we worry about that cable management back there. So are you post on IG and immediately wanted to see the build live? That's what's up, man. IG, wow. Don't have too many inbound traffic from IG. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> I'll keep posting. I'll keep posting. There we go. All right. We'll plug in our super clean... Asia horse white cable extensions, just like that. And we have a completed system. At least it's fully, it's not fully built, but it's, it's, we have all the parts. All the parts are in the build. There we go. What do you guys think? What do you think of the aesthetic so far on just that? I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Let's go.
right? All right. I mean, if I do say so myself, that looks pretty clean already. Let's install this back panel real quickly. Uh, just so when we're looking at it from the front, we don't see... Uh, like we don't see through it. That always looks stupid. Like that. Epic build, my guy. So fresh and so clean, clean. Looking pretty slick, my dude. I think it looks good. This is a killer build. This is really nice, man. This is a really nice build for sure. Although I don't know what's going on with this rear. Here we go. Okay. All right. Woo! Oh, we got ourselves a build here. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to take the label off. Relax. Dude, that looks nice. All right. Let's turn it on. Nobody freak out. We might not have all five fans uh, with RGB or even power. Let's just let's just see what happens. Who knows? Who knows? I'm not a hundred percent confident on those all that daisy chain in action. But so far, with the PC turned off, <laughs> looks looks pretty pretty nice. Let's get our storage storage bin in here can't see is that in no I don't know how this goes in okay please uh, I don't even know was this up top or at the bottom what? I'm confused oh I'm putting it in backwards my bad my bad my bad there we go. Okay. Backwards. Boom. All right. And then where's that front panel? Okay. Boom. There we go. All right. Making progress. Whoo! Dude, that looks good already. That looks good already. Yeah, it was backwards. Sorry. That looks clean. All right. Let's let's just let's just hope it all turns on. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh, is that RGB on everything? No. Okay, those fans aren't spinning. That's that's acceptable though. Damn, that looks. Oh my god, that looks so mega clean. I know the fans aren't spinning, but my goodness. Oh, oh, that, that might. I I know they're not spinning. I know. Are the front fans spinning? That looks really good though. Are these spinning? can't tell oh wow none of the fans are spinning that's interesting huh that looks good though all the rtbs are good that that, that was that would have been the worst part okay there's my pc <laughs> i like the confidence dude that looks nice i oh we, we're gonna fix the fans but my goodness the rgb diffusion on the ram sticks Oh, that's my new favorite budget white RAM kit by far. That that does look better than the Delta RGBs. That looks really nice. Thanks for building my new computer. Yeah, we're gonna have to split up the the fan channels, but that's fine. That's fine. We're we're gonna do that right now. Um, but that looks good. Hold on. Let, let's just let's just experiment with the RGBs real quick. Can you guys see it? Oh, even RGB looks good. Damn, dude, that looks nice. That looks so good. Oh, I'm so happy. That looks awesome. All right, let's turn it on. Probably one of the best RTB builds I've ever seen. Let's go. Okay. The Rams, yeah, those Ram sticks look nice. We're not gonna be able to change the colors on them right now because we're not gonna install windows on this stream. Um, but yeah. So, all right, so let's, uh, so here, here, here's the thing about the daisy chaining. Right now we have five fans plugging into one connector. So what we're going to do is we're just going to remove one of those. We'll remove the back one for now because that's probably the easiest one. And we'll turn it back on. 
and see if the four fans start spinning. We'll do that. Because that was the last one in the chain anyway. So that, yep, see, look. Now they're all spinning except the back one. So this motherboard can only has enough power to power four of these fans. So I just want to get 100%. Oh, no, that one's not spin. Oh, those two aren't spin. Oh, wait. Wait, they were spinning. Oh, maybe it's software then. Or the, or the motherboard settings. They were spinning. Why aren't they spinning now? Turn that back on. Okay. Maybe it can only handle three. Let's try that. Let's try that. Okay. The fan spun up when the PC started. It might be the fan curve. That, that's fine. It could be. It could be. But let's verify. Let's remove the back. Let's remove one more because it could definitely power three. We'll remove one more in the chain. Okay. Make sure I'm doing this right. We'll remove one more in the chain and see if they spin. If they don't, then yeah, it's just the the settings in the motherboard. It is. It is the settings in the motherboard because they are spinning at the beginning. Okay, so we're not going to be able to change that right now. The weight with the RGB is fire. Yeah, it looks really... I actually really like the color of just RGB in this build. Dude, that looks... Oh, my God. That's beautiful. It was like... It was a 1480 before taxes. It was expensive. We, we spent a lot of money on the aesthetics. It's still 12600K. still a 3060 Ti. If you only cared about performance, you could get that for a little bit cheaper, though. A good bit cheaper. Oh, they are three spinning? No, we don't have three spinning now. None are spinning. Yeah, none are spinning. Yeah, so it's it's definitely a, a motherboard. It's definitely a motherboard setting that's stopping them. So we're, we're not going to be able to do, uh, do anything with that, but that's fine. That's fine. Clear CMOS real quickly and see if that fixes it. Do I have access to the CMOS battery? You think? Is that worth my time, painful? Is that worth my time? I guess it is if you're saying it. I don't know if that's going to work. Okay. I don't like the RGB, actually. Feels like it's uh, it's so overdone, really. I think I think RGB... I mean, it looks good just like this. Like, if you just uh, kept all of the... um, What's it called? All the RGB products, like white or something. I think that would look pretty cool. Would that work on a new motherboard, though, with default settings? Uh, we're, we're about to find out. Unfortunately, we're, we're not going to be able to, like, troubleshoot that, like, super in-depth right now. Because, like, I'm not plugging this into a monitor and doing the BIOS. I never do that for Thursday, Thursday. Uh, but e either way, like, it, it, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we don't have, like, uh, an issue here or anything. Did you unplug it? Yeah, it's unplugged. Unplugged, battery is out. And I usually wait, like, 30 seconds with the battery out and completely unplugged before I put it back in. Looks better with RGB off. I mean, it, do it does look really good. It does look really good. And you could very easily just turn it off if you wanted to. You could just unplug the, the one connector that they're all daisy chained to. Yeah, it it's a glass side panel. I don't ever bring the glass side panel here at home. Uh, it it's back at the studio because I just... There's no point of me risking the unnecessary transportation of the glass panel from work to here. I never bring that. Uh -uh. Let's put the the battery back in here. Uh -uh. See if that see if that makes a difference. Oh, it did. See? Yeah, I mean I mean we're we're on the money. We were on the money on that one. They're spinning now. So three of them are spinning now. Yeah, it was just it was just motherboard settings. That's all it was. So if, if you guys weren't tracking what Painful was telling me to do, we were clearing the CMOS, which is like pretty much in a real basic nutshell, the memory 
on the motherboard and the battery on the motherboard is what allows that memory to not erase itself whenever you do unplug the PC. So the way that you can click, there's a couple ways to clear CMOS, but the way that you can quickly do it is you completely unplug the PC, you pull out that battery, and I always pull, I don't know if this is actually legit or not, but I always keep the battery unplugged for like 30 seconds to a minute, just to like kind of, it's kind of old school. I don't know if that's actually necessary or not. Yeah, I know the back fin's not spinning, it's not plugged in. Um, and you just leave that unplugged for 30 seconds or so, and then everything will be erased. The bio settings go back to stock, and that's what fixed it. So there were some fan settings set that made it so it won't spin. Now we still are testing if one, all five are now plugged in. We'll see if that one connector can power all five, and it looks like it can. So now they're all spinning. Bada bing, bada boom. So before we start really looking at it, let's turn it off. Let's install the back panel. Um, that way we're not looking see-through through the back of the case. And then we're going to give this bad boy away. Let's go. Omnius Medic with the tier one sub. Gifting out one to Mistress Koala. Thank you very much, Omnius, for becoming another gift of gold on the night. That's what's up. Thank you. But yeah, things like that. That's why we have Painful. That's why we have Painful. He guides me in the right direction. Resetting the CMOS, you know. Good job, looks clean. That looks so good. Hey, I, I'm actually really happy with how that looks. You guys are ready? Who's gonna win this one? Who's gonna win? Who, is anybody like feeling lucky? Anybody feeling lucky? You're looking at the PC now. Let me tell you how many people are officially entered. There are 3,965 entries. Now, some people have multiple entries, but that's not how many people actually entered. Uh, I know Amanda goes through and curates the list before she gives it to me. She did that during the last giveaway as well, just to delete any like anything sus, any like bot accounts or anything like that. That's 100% just a curated list of eligible Giveaway entries, 3,965. And one of those entries, dude, that looks nice. That looks really nice. Let's turn off that light real quickly. Woo! I think I might've woke my kids up on that one, but that's clean. That's, that, that's clean. Dang, I'm so happy with how that looks. That looks awesome. I like the case. I like the case. I, I should give a full case review after we do the giveaway, but I don't want to keep you guys holding any longer. However, I will make you wait a little bit because I'm not going to make it. Or I'll go to the bathroom after we do. Or no, we're not doing a giveaway. We're not doing a raffle. I'm just doing an RNG. Okay, never mind. You guys got to wait. I got to go pee. <laughs> I can't wait. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry.
All right, is it time? I think it might be time, man. I think it's time to do a giveaway. Actually, it's time for a beer. I, I, I haven't had a three beer Thirsty Thursday in a really long time, but I'm not playing basketball tomorrow. I want to hang out with you guys after the giveaway for, you know, the cool people that don't leave right after the giveaway. We're also going to be doing one more. Before we do this giveaway, just, just know, I'm not trying to keep you here longer, but uh, just know that we are going to do the keycap give or the, the, the Jawa Founder pin giveaway after this as well. We'll do that. Oh, and we have one more. We have a Jawa shirt or something to do too. Okay, multiple giveaways after this. Uh, a, a sticker pack. We got to do a sticker pack as well. We'll do that. Okay. That PC looks mad nice. Dude, I really like it. I really like it. Anybody, anybody have any any takes on this before we do the giveaway? Um, overall, I, I know a couple of people don't like our third hype train of the day. Wow, that's how you know the stream's too long. Uh, any 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 uh, any uh, uh, feedback takes criticism other than like if you just don't like RGB, you could set these again. You could set these colors to whatever you want. Like that that RGB looks even nicer. I really like that. Let's turn this off real quick. Oof. That's so nice. Oh, I like all of them. I, li I like legitimately like all of them. And then you pair that with the... I'm only leaving it on this one because that's what the RGB is default set to. But dude, that looks so nice. That looks so nice. Icy but spicy. Mark of the 100 bitty says chew freaking chew. Third hype train of the day. It would look good in my office that has a white brick wall behind my desk. Nice. Sweet build, quality build for what? Twelve hundred? It was fifteen hundred. We 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 paid a lot. Painful the hundred, but he says, "Oh, my third train." That is clean as fuck. You like the Delta RGB better? Okay, that's a take. That's a take. I don't. I like these better. the The Delta RGB does not have the 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 white spot in the center. It's just, it's just the whole way. But I like the angular design of this, and these are way, way more uh, cleaner diffused than the Delta RGBs. But yeah, you probably, if you don't like these as much, you probably don't like that center mark, which is understandable. Black combs to make the GPU not stand out more. I debated about black combs. I think I like it without, because without, Without this cable extension, this bottom half of the build would be very, very black. So I, I like getting as much white at the bottom here as possible. Um, but I mean, black combs would look fine as well. It looks amazing. It would definitely look better with a white GPU for sure. But again, we were trying to use as many. Oh, oh my God, I'm not done. We're not even done. We're not even done. We don't even have our back plate on here. Like I said, we don't have the mounting hardware, but we're gonna just set it on here. That way we can see what it looks like. Boom. Okay, sorry G Tech, I forgot. There's the the back plate. Oh my god, that looks even better. Oh, oh, that is obnoxious. That is so good. Oh, he did such a good job. Yeah, get the Bob Ross emotes out here. That looks so good. Sheesh. That looks so nice. G Tech be crying. I know, I forgot. It's probably gonna it's gonna fall, but oh, there it goes. <laughs> Sorry, G Tech. <laughs> he didn't include melting hardware. He said he will for future orders though, so don't let this order steer you away from G Tech. Put it back on there though there we go we'll, we'll double side stick tape it uh for whoever wins this okay i think enough that was enough rambling let's get to the giveaway again we are here to celebrate the one year anniversary of jawa and honestly like amanda uh creating this business out of thin air most people don't understand the the stresses and the Oh my God, just the, the laundry list of emotions and pressures that you feel when you're starting your own business. And especially when you get that business to the point where you're paying employees and there's other people, when you have other people that 
their food is paid for by the business that you created out of thin air. Most people don't understand what, rightfully so, and honestly don't recommend it, but most people don't understand what type of pressure that that creates. So big shout out to Amanda for creating uh, all of this and making all of this possible. Uh, and yeah, uh, Jawa hitting 1 million sales on the website and surviving the first year. That is just absolutely super clutch. So we have 3,000 965 entries for the giveaway and this giveaway has been open for like a month now to celebrate this anniversary you cannot enter anymore and this is hand curated by amanda uh to make sure that these aren't like bot accounts or anything sus uh or anyone just trying to like be malicious towards this giveaway so yeah i'm super excited to see jawa grow as well you guys know my relationship with them already we're putting in the the work now to give me some equity ownership in the company and i've already been doing like a lot of contracting work for them as well which you guys will see even more of in the future uh, and you've seen a little bit now but uh yeah super excited about jawa it actually solves a problem not a problem but like it, it feels a, feels a void that we didn't really have this resource before uh and yeah i'm just super excited about it so we're gonna run the giveaway this is how i have it uh set up for you guys just rng baby this is it uh we're rolling between two and three thousand nine hundred and sixty five and we're doing two because the first one is just the the header the name instagram or discord tag so here it is ladies and gentlemen this is the moment we've been waiting for let's pause this real quickly anyone have any last minute words yeah canada hopefully coming soon get 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 everybody stay calm if you have any good luck phrases to send in the chat or whatever you do Whoever you pray to, whatever you got going on to increase your luck odds, this is it. And I'll even do you guys a favor real quickly. I'll just make the basketball shot now. That way you guys all know that everyone's in good faith here. Draining it every single time. Doug, the gamer dad's going to throw out 420 biddies. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. We'll boost him up on the list. What's his number? That's not too bad. There goes my chance. <laughs> okay, I love you, Zach. That'll work. That Can we get a drum roll on YouTube? We don't have a drum roll, but we, we, we got we got the song queued up. Trust me. We got the song queued up. All right. And the winner, just so you guys know I'm not cheating the system here, is Numero. This is so anticlimactic because you guys don't know what numbers you are. Number 2,200. And 12, which is none other. There's a lot of scrolling. 2,212. This person, Dom Buskis. Dom Buskis, I don't know if you're here. We gotta turn that down. Congrats, man. You just won the $1,500 Jawa anniversary build. One more time, Dumbuskus? I don't know if that's right. I don't know if you guys, oh, can I zoom in on that? Four for four, there we go. Dumbuskus. Oh my God, I just deleted it. <laughs> that's funny. Control Z, four for four. Oh well, Control Z is not working, but we know who it was. Dumbuskus, congrats on your $1,500 PC. That's me? Is that legit? Is that legit? Like, I'm, I'm not going to send it to whoever's on Twitch. Uh, Amanda's going to do that, so don't try to convince me <laughs> if you're lying. But is that actually somebody who's watching right now? If so, that would be awesome. That would be awesome if that person's actually here. No? Damn. <laughs> I was excited. But yeah, congrats to Dumbuskus. That's what's up. That's me, no cap. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. They don't happen to be in chat, but congrats to them. 
You may call me Dumbuskus for the day. Okay, I got you. Whoever wants to be called Dumbuskus. All right, we're definitely getting heavily copyrighted on that one. You can't play that song, so bye. Bye, DJ Khaled, sorry. <laughs> there we go, Dumbuskus. Pleasure doing business. Hopefully you at least watch the clip of us building and rolling the PC for you. There you go. We do have some more giveaways to do real quickly. Let's knock those out. So the next giveaway we're going to do, everyone can enter right now. No, 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 not right now. Don't, not right now. Not right now. The next one we're going to do is for a Jawa sticker pack. That's the last piece of Jawa merch we got. Let's do Jawa sticker pack. Jawa sticker pack. We'll make that two minutes. And we'll, we'll just do, th we'll do three bonus tickets on that one. Open it up to everybody. Uh, three bonus tickets. We're going to start the giveaway on the Jawa sticker pack right now. Type in exclamation point raffle, whether you're on YouTube or Twitch, and that'll get you entered into that. You spelled GTEC wrong, but it's all right. All right, that's fine. We'll handle it. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Dumbuskus. Yeah, Jawa sticker pack. I have zero clue how much, how many stickers you're getting or anything of that nature. Uh, Amanda just put Jawa sticker pack. And it's my job to uh, give it away to somebody. So I got you. I got you. And then after that, we're going to do one Jawa uh, anniversary pin. We'll do the anniversary pin on that one. I will win the next one. <laughs> if you need someone to translate the Jawa website in French to pass Quebec regulations, hit me up. It's good to know we have that resource, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> that is great to know. Drink! I'm drinking. I'm drinking, man. Who was that? Who was that? Actually, I can't see it. It's not showing up. I missed the sound chat. I'm sorry, whoever that was. Oh, there it is. Oh, it was Doug the Gamer Dad. I like, I like Doug. I like Doug. I got you, man. There's your 100 biddies. Dumbuskus, name your price. Hopefully they don't sell it. That would suck. You can get some good money for an all-white PC like this for sure. Hopefully they don't sell. 52 seconds left on the giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. Type in exclamation point raffle. This one's for the sticker pack. Doug, the gamer dad with 10 bit, he says, ah, yes, Quebec regulations. They're constantly on my mind. <laughs> Constant stressor in our lives, for sure. Like, stressing us all, even down even down here in the States. Jonathan with the shout out says, uh, sup, Zach, I'm active in your server in Java. What's up, Jonathan? How you doing, man? Thank you for uh, not pinging me anymore at 3 a.m. Much appreciated. We got this. Oh, is the raffle over? I think we're done. Okay. Wait, what the? Something's wrong. Is it over? It's got to be over by now. Okay, it's over. All right, 71 entries into this one, or 71 people into this one. The winner for the Jawa sticker pack is... Oh, SD Ranger. Let's go. SD1, congrats, man. Uh, you are the winner of the Jawa sticker pack. That's what's up. He says, okay, let's go. I know he's here for sure. And then the last one we're going to do is for the Jawa, uh, the founding Jawa pins. So again, I'm just going to do an RNG for this one because you can only win if you are, if you're a founding Jawa and we have 240 founding Jawas. So I'll run the generator on that. Oops, you didn't see that, my bad. Oops, wrong one, my bad. That's so sus. But it was 225 and, oh, wow, it was 140. We're gonna need a reroll on that one. 140, my bad. Good thing it wasn't somebody that, yeah, you know what I'm saying. 
Alright, here we go. 37. 37 for the Jawa Pim. It is 37. DC Parts. DC Parts is the winner of the Jawa Pen. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the giveaways. That's it. So if you guys were here for giveaways, get out. <laughs> I'm getting restless. I'm getting restless, guys. Uh, but seriously, guys, thank you very much for tuning in to the live stream today. I'm probably going to hang out with you guys if, if, if you guys want to ask some questions or just chit-chat. Um, or we'll just see where the night takes us. Feel free to stay. But if you were just here for the giveaway, uh, A, I apologize that you didn't win. But B, thank you very much. Yeah, GG's to everybody. It says Doug, the gamer dad with the 100 biddies. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you guys very much for being here, watching me build this PC. It actually went very smoothly. Uh, we just, yeah, no, we didn't. We actually didn't have any issues. You know, we just had to clear that CMOS, uh, and we were good to go. So, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all of the chat interactions and keeping our conversations going. Again, crap. Congrats to Jawa and the team, especially Amanda for uh the the business and like i said creating businesses out of thin air is no easy feat and to get the numbers that jawa is showing and projecting just look amazing uh and i'm just super happy for her and super happy for the team and whoever won the giveaway uh and yeah just I, 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 like look this is easy, man. Like, promoting Jawa is easy. Literally everybody is excited about Jawa. There's there's nobody that, like, is, af is afraid of Jawa. Because, like, Jawa's not really, like, taking over a single company. Jawa's, like, filling the void, like I was saying earlier. And, like, it's just, they're doing everything right, you know? Like, they're taking care of people. They're, they're providing the resource that uh, a, a lot of us PC builders and especially uh, PC flippers needed and just everyone like everyone's rooting for jawa you know just it, it it's all it's all super positive vibes it's super easy to uh promote and talk about uh and use and i snipe some good deals on there so yeah uh thank you very much to jawa and amanda for letting me do this giveaway for you guys this was a fun one to build you, you guys will see some more uh action on other social media with this build and whatnot when we announce when we like showcase the build off and whatnot but yeah that's what's up Thank you guys very much for being here. Much appreciated. I think I did everything. I just saw Amanda was in here. Are, are, am I done? Can I clock out? Am I good to clock out now? Was that it? I think we did everything. I gave away the sticker pack, the beanie, the, the keycap, the pin, and the PC build. And I talked about the Jawa milestones. I think I'm good. I was so close to winning. Thanks for the show, man. Thanks for being here. Sit down? Yeah. Can I sit down? Am I good? Am I good? I think Amanda's still here. Am I good to clock out? Okay. I think I'm done. I think I'm going to call it a day. I think we could maybe I'll drink like three or four, three or four more beers. Watch the view count. It always goes down, but rightfully so, man. <laughs> There's a lot of people that just want that giveaway action, but that's perfectly fine. Watch the viewer count go down. And then if you're still here through thick and thin post giveaway, you know you're a true baller. It's as easy as that. Thank you. Thank you, Doug the Gamer Dad. Don't trigger a fourth a fourth uh, hype train. That'd be too much. But thank you. Thanks for featuring my GPU backplate in this awesome build, Zach. I got you, man. I got you. Thanks for providing us with it. For sure. Easy choice. Oh, my God. I did not. Oh, my God. Who? I don't know who said that. Shoot. Don't go anywhere. I completely forgot about the nerd on the budget. And the Aussie videos, we're just going to queue them up right now. This is Danny from Nerd on a Budget talking about Jawa. Here you go. I'm so sorry. I forgot. Hey, what's up, Zach and ZTT viewers? Hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to quickly pop in to wish a happy one-year anniversary to Jawa. Congrats to the Jawa team and the community for everything that you've accomplished in this first year. I've met some really cool people through the Jawa Discord, from both the official staff to the general members. And I have no doubt that Jawa and its community will keep pushing forward to basically make it the best place to buy and sell PC hardware. There's already been a ton of features implemented. We recently saw a site design revamp and I've seen multiple users go from basically being first time sellers to power sellers in a short amount of time. So keep up the good work everyone. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for me though. Congrats again, be safe out there and I will see you all later. Bye.
man, it's been a long time since I pressed the record button. I'll tell you guys that. But I'm honored that it's for Jawa. So congratulations on one year, guys. It's been really cool to see not only the website and the platform that you guys have built, which is now recognized by some big names, and that was without any intentional marketing towards them. It was just generic, grassroots type of thing. But then also the community that you guys have built through Discord and through other methods. And so I think for the next year, I'm really excited to just see more of that communal growth. And then also just a place where custom PC builders can stay, a home where they can take uh, orders and build their businesses there because I see a lot of potential in that. Zach, congratulations. It's, it's nice to have you on board too because I know that you are probably even one of the most hardworking people and I know that you're going to take Jawa in the right direction. So Amanda and team, everyone else who's been on board, whether you've been here for one hour or the entire time, it's been an honor working with you guys and I'm excited for the future. So thank you guys and congrats yet again. Yeah, I uh, I was muted during that last uh, in between videos. There, my fault, my fault. We'll we'll blame that one on the beer. <laughs> the, the headset was up. So, you would think my mods would tell me. You know, they they start hearing me talk. I I, I need an instant text that I'm muted. But yeah, uh, that was Oz and uh, Danny. Thank you very much for submitting those videos. I'm done now, right? Is the giveaway worldwide? Uh, it's not worldwide. It's actually over. It's world. It, it, it's over. It's over. Sorry, ma'am. Can anyone read lips? So who won the giveaway? It was, what was his name? I already, I already forgot. Uh, I already forgot his name. It was a weird, hard to pronounce name. Uh, it started with a D. It started with a D. De, De Bo De or something? Dom Domboskis? Something like that. I don't know. Dumb, dumb buskus. Should I know? Should I know that person? That, that that name is not ringing out a bell at all. But what is ringing a bell, ladies and gentlemen, is Doug the Gamer Dad gifting out five tier one gifted subs. Three and a half hours into the live stream, that is obnoxious. You have secured your spot, Doug. You're allowed in the exclusives, and you can stay. That's all it was. Oh, we got Scott. Back in the exclusives. We got G Tech back in the exclusives. Let's go. That was a super clutch uh gifted god moment there. Thank you very much, Doug the Gamer Dag. It sounded it sounds it's like Damascus. Damascus. Got it. Damascus. Should I know that person? Should I know them? Damascus. Uh thank you very much, Doug. Uh that that's big time. Guys, if if you're just got a gifted sub, or if you're a first time, we got a lot of new subs today. Please link the, your Twitch account or your YouTube member account with Discord. That way you get exclusive access in the exclamation point Discord server. I'm going to do the manual sync now. So if you didn't get instant access, you'll have it right now into the exclusives. Because it's definitely, it's definitely worth five bucks a month, man. You got you got a lot of benefits in here. You get the one of the cool things that we do is you get access to the uh, transactional channel where I actually yeah, there we go. There's the manual sync. So if you were waiting on access, yep, yeah, ton more people just joined. Okay, uh, I post all of my business expenses, both incomes and expenses for uh, like PC hardware and all that live in real time in the transaction channel. So it's actually really cool. If you're a PC flipper, you can see, and I, and I, I post links and everything, you can see exactly what parts I'm buying, exactly how much I'm paying, and where I'm buying them from in real time. It's actually really, really cool uh, if you're trying to like copy, like find in deals and whatnot. So I'm a big fan of the transaction channel. We have an exclusive marketplace where you can buy and sell PC hardware from trusted, trusted members of the community, not just like the open public and whatnot. Um, and we got a cool little extra features in there. But yeah, if you did get a, a gifted sub please make please make sure you like those accounts that way you're actually utilizing the the twitch sub for sure hey zach can you build me a pc 
Yeah, I'll just do another one real quick. That last one we did pretty quickly. We knocked it out in three hours and 35 minutes. That's not bad. Doug, the gamer dad going nuts? Yeah, for sure. Doug's going off. That's because we were debating about Doug. We weren't sure if Doug could stay or not. You know, there was a couple questionable moves. He was doubting me. You know, he was saying he was he was posting biddies without message. He was, he was doing all sorts of little things. But he solidified his spot with that one. That'll work. That'll work. He, he knows what... He knows how to tick the buttons. He's got it. He's smart. He's smart. He's sharp. I want to be part of the Fitty Bitty Committee. I've already set my bits in, says Mistress Koala. I think you already are in there. Yeah. Yeah, you sent those a while ago, Nate. Yeah. I didn't miss it, did I? Yeah, yeah. You sent those a while ago. Yeah, the Fitty Bitty Committee Lounge was absolutely packed. Packed to the brim today. So, one thing I do want to do real quickly is... Why did I just get a ton of extra follows? Or is, is Streamlabs lagging out? Streamlabs might be lagging out on that one. Shoot a basketball shot? Ugh. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Yeah, something is like massively going on with Twitch right now, which is not good. Are we still live? My Streamlabs is bugging out big time. I don't even know if I'm live, honestly. We'll go ahead and refresh that. <laughs> That's wild. Finally built my PC, put a 5600X in there. That's not too bad. I'm back, just had my first crash due to my AIO cooler. I do have those I do have those being recalled. I've I've created a PC uh, PC crashing video tutorial on YouTube before, and my issue was my AIO cooler. Did you already do the giveaway? Yeah, the giveaway is 100% over. Sorry. And we did them all. We did them all. <clears throat> yeah, something's like bugging out big time. I see you guys are still here. It was a pleasure. God bless you guys. Thanks, Paulo. MSI Cooler. Yeah, we've had a lot of MSI Cooler owners in the chat tonight. I'm out. We'll reach out tomorrow to get addresses for the giveaway winners. Thanks all. And thanks, Zach. Thank you very much, Amanda, for tuning in. Much appreciated. I would have liked to see, you know, it, it, if I have any feedback for Jawa tonight, I would have liked to see a drink photo. You know, kind of slacking on that one. Maybe I missed it, but I definitely didn't review it. So, you know, we don't, we don't like to come to Thirsty Thursday without drink photos. So next time. Next time we'll get that. But yeah, thanks for making this all possible. Much, much appreciated. <sighs> so how do I get my beanie? We'll, we'll, we'll do all the giveaway stuff tomorrow. We'll do all the giveaway stuff. E everything's recorded. So we just, we'll go back and we'll, we'll check everything for sure. Uh, but yeah, j just send me a message. Send me a DM on either uh, Twitch or YouTube. Or I'm sorry, Twitch or Discord. And we'll get it all figured out. Because we did... How many give we did six giveaways tonight. We did the Jawa beanie, the Jawa sticker pack, the keycap, the pin, the PC, and the $20 Steam gift card. Six giveaways in one night. Drink photo next time. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't be slacking next time. That, that, that's unacceptable. I build PCs all the time. It was the first AIO cooler that wasn't Corsair. Never again. We need more exclusive giveaways. Those are always fun. Like when we had the cable mod giveaway. The yeah, we did an extension giveaway for just the exclusives. How did I do that last time? I think it was over like Christmas break, wasn't it? I can't remember how I did it. I remember doing it just through Discord. And maybe it was just through the exclusives. Did I have people send a picture of their PCs without extensions or something? What did I do? I forget. I did something. Yeah. School at 6.30? Yikes. AIOs are aesthetic AF, but I like the convenience of air coolers. There's, like, not much extra, extra work with an AIO. Like, sometimes you got to move the fans around. You know, the install process takes, like, 20 minutes, but that's not about it. It was through your Discord. I don't remember about the method methodology. I don't remember either, but I do remember doing that. 
an extension giveaway because I'm pretty sure it took me forever to ship that out. That was before I hired Sam. Before Sam, all giveaway ship, like ZTT shipping in general, before Sam was awful. Now ZTT shipping is like as quick as it can be. He's always shipping stuff out. Feeding time for me now. Have a good night, says Painful. Thanks for all the help tonight, Painful, for real. And for the the support, man. Much appreciated. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. Uh, I had a great night tonight. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. This was extremely fun. I'm glad that we uh, successfully built an aesthetic AFPC. I'm going to chill off for a little bit. I'm probably going to eat some food, man. I'm starving. After three hours and 41 minutes, uh, this was definitely a good one. But uh, feel free to stay for the credits of tonight's live stream. That way you can see who all donated, who all gave bits, uh, and gifted subs and all that. But yeah, thank you guys very much for tuning in to Thirsty Thursday. We're going to be live streaming here on Twitch and YouTube next Monday or this upcoming Monday uh, if everything goes well. And we'll have a new video out next week on the main YouTube channel. But per usual... Thank you guys very much for the support. Moderators, shout out to you. I know we had some extra duties here tonight with all the the extra people and all that. Uh, so thank you very much for what you guys do. It's much appreciated. And yeah, um, hopefully you guys all have a good night, good weekend. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next week. See you guys.